Hello everybody, and hello to all the not buddies, which uh, I think that would mostly constitute ghosts. So yeah, hello to all the humans and all the ghosts out there. Uh, welcome to uh, our next Saturday stream, continuing through uh, Poke Park 2 Wonders Beyond. Uh, last time, we, let's see, we beat the boss of the cove area, then went to the arbor area, beat its story mode, or all of its story elements, then went to the crag area, uh, beat all of that, st all these story elements there, met up with uh, Snivy and Tepig, so now we have the full team of available. And, uh, yeah, now we're going to, uh, well, first, I wanted to upgrade, uh, Tepig a bit, but then I realized, oh, right, I hadn't befriended Pig Knight yet, so, you know, I want to get, I want to get all the friendships on camera, at least, so now here we are. I'm looking for a fiery, enthusiastic Pokemon. I was thinking of passing along my moves. You look like you've got guts. How about it? Do you want to learn my moves? First, I'll give you a little test. Can you beat me in battle? Man, you remember when uh, Ash got his uh, Tepig in uh, Pokemon Black and in the Black and White anime, and it was revealed that uh, said uh, Tepig was abused by his previous trainer. That that was unfortunate. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, I hope everyone's uh, day's been going good. Uh, mine's been going pretty okay. Just you, dear. Uh, excited to continue on through this game. This is a fun game. I've been enjoying it. Hey, not bad. I'll teach you my moves. Befriended Pig Knight. Get it? It's like a pun on Ignite, but with pig. Oh, I get it. It's like Ignite, but with pig. So it's some kind of fire pig. Yeah, I don't like where this is going. Epic brownie points if you got that reference. I'm just letting you know I try to brave training. Okay, so let's up all of his moves. Flamethrower's power level is now lead. Okay, now, uh, actually, real quick, how much do you charge for level 2 upgrades? Okay, so it's 500 berries for those. And I would imagine it's the same for all the other characters. Crash is now level 1. And now for the dash combo. But yeah, uh, tonight's just gonna be another chill uh, Poke Park night. Dash combo with level 2, you weren't quick, you're powered up already! Okay, uh, so yeah, that should be, yeah, everybody's everything is level 1. Should I invest in a few more upgrades? Uh... Then why, let's see, there, there'd be 500 a pop, and I have 3,800 berries, so that would be... Uh, Ooh, I think seven upgrades worth. Uh, no, well, I, can, I suppose we can give our HP a boost. We can never have enough enough hit points. And let's see, what could I talk about while we're doing this? Uh, oh, well, actually, well, okay, here, here we go, here we go. Here, here's the big conversation topic nowadays for Pokemon. 
So, uh, Ash Ketchum is, uh, no longer going to be the main character of the anime. That is kinda huge. Like, I guess it makes sense. He, like, I haven't actually seen a lot of the anime recently, but I do know that apparently he won this, like, worldwide Pokemon championship or something, took down a bunch of, like, uh, familiar gym leaders and junk like that, or, like, like champions and stuff. So I guess he's now technically the Pokemon master. Which, you know, that's, that's pretty damn huge. Like, that's been his goal from day one, and we finally get to see him ma make a reality. After... After 25 years of being a 10-year-old boy, he finally managed to become the, the very best like no one ever was. But then, like, I wasn't expecting them to just, like, outright, uh... Like, remove him in favor of a new protagonist. Like, that's cool! But I, I'm willing to bet that a lot of people just were not expecting that. But you know, I'm actually really excited. You know, it's it's cool having some new blood be pumped into this show. They could very easily have just done the exact same thing over and over again. You know, just keep blue balling Ash, keep making him just barely become not the champion of whatever region he's in, and then he moves on to the next, and they just keep doing this over and over. And I imagine not many people would really complain, because, you know... Also, did I get everybody? Oh, no, no, I missed Tepic. Yeah, I'm just... I'm... I don't know, I just, it's, I'm just really happy about this, you know? Like, I'm gonna miss Ash as the main character, but it's great to see the show actually try and evolve itself. Like, I don't know if the... I, I highly doubt that the actual premise or anything is going to change. It'll just be new, two new characters in place of Ash. And, uh, his friends and whatnot. But still, I, I'm just I'm just happy for him. You know, it's just, it's just nice. It's a nice thing. I will say, it does actually make me motivate... Oh, asshole. Ah, here. Will you give me berries for this? Damn it. No. Okay. Yeah, I think in this game you can actually uh, trade stuff to other characters for berries or for other items. But yeah, now, our goal currently is to access the tech area. Because, uh, long story short, to uh, briefly summarize the plot, uh, due to all of the stuff that's going on in Wish Park, a black hole has basically opened up above the Poke Park and threatens to destroy the entire world. The uh, portals that get to Wish Park are being built in the tech area, so we're going to go there and check it out. And I think this is actually my favorite area in the game, I really like it. Empor told me what was going on. You're doing well, Runtz. I'll open the gate to the tech area for you. Be careful! <laughs> Go to the train depot! Or, the, or more accurately, the train depot. Cause like, look, that's, that's literally what it's spelled like. Okay. Yeah, this place just makes me wonder, like, like who who built this? Where did this come from? Was this built by the Pokemon, or is this like a remnant of human civilization that was left here? Now, I believe from here we can... Can we? Or maybe we can't. I was thinking we could see the, uh, like, uh, nightmare void black hole thingamajig that is uh, threatening to destroy all of life and civilization and all that. Yeah, if you weren't here for the last, uh, well, technically two Pokemon uh, Poke Park 2 streams, this plot is a lot more uh, involved than the original, I suppose. 
Hey, yeah, what's your deal? Hey, what's with you guys? We have a rule in the tech area. No outside is allowed. If you wandered in here by accident, hurry up and scram! A clue for a case that concerns the entire Polka Park is here. If we don't solve the case quickly, the tech area will be in danger too! I don't care about your excuses. Conkelder told us not to let any outsiders in. And I'm getting bored just watching the entrance, so... If you refuse to leave, I'll just have to make you! Oh, 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 oh boy. Oh, oh dear. Man, did you see that? Did you see that sexy slowdown? I I would hope that the the stream bit rate. Uh yeah, no, I, I think the stream's okay, but, uh... Ooh, boy. That, that slowdown. This game does not appreciate those particle, those particle effects specifically. But he's dead, so it doesn't matter anymore. Phew, I give up. I can't stop you all by myself. I guess I have to let you pass. If you have business here, you should talk to Conkelder first. He's in the back of the area. I'm trying to do a Brooklyn Joyzy accent for him, but it's not coming out correctly. In fact, it's coming out rather... Not... Cor correctly. Yeah. So anyway, here's Conkelder. You know, the, the more humanoid Pokemon are always really weird looking. <laughs> you know? Like, the ones that, that have just vaguely humanoid features, or like... Yeah, like have the general human body shape, but then just like other more weirdly proportioned features, like big noses or, or uh, less fingers, they just always look particularly unusual. We're investigating a big case that involves the entire Poke Park. We heard we could find an important clue at the Scientorium in this area. If you know anything, could you please tell us? So, Sabarot Superior and Embor must have sent you. It might be a big case, but it doesn't concern us here in the tech area. Can't you leave us out of it? If you refuse, I'll be forced to battle with you. Ow. Uh oh, more spinny, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Not only does he move when he spins, but it provides the exact same uh, particle effect that the game does not appreciate. And it's not like I can just move the camera away to get it off screen, because this is a battle, or alternatively a buttle if you prefer. Ugh. Why does it slow down that much when he does that? There isn't even that much going on, on the screen, it's just like a trail mark. Or, or like a blur effect, you know? Oh lord. <laughs> you got me! Why am I laughing when I lost? Battling you reminded me of trading blows with Samurai and Nembor. You've got spirit. I can see why they chose you. If you have a good reason, I'll hear you out. What is this case you keep going on about? Pokemon from Poke Park are being taken to Wish Park. Wish Park? Are you joking? That old story? No, Wish Park really exists. But you can only get there through a special portal. Apparently, the Scientorium, where the portals are made, is nearby. What? The Scientorium? I have a suspicion, but... Hmm... Conkelder, we got a problem! The Iron Bridge is broken! The Pokémon who visited the mountain by train can't get home! What? Didn't I say the train was not to move until we refurbished the bridge? I want to go fix it now, but... Conkelder, is there anything we can do? What? You? Okay, I'll take you up on that generous offer. Alright, what should we do then? 
We don't have what we need to fix the iron bridge. We'll need cement and timber to get the job done. Can you go to Timber and ask him to gather those items? Timber is one of my apprentices. You'll find him in a different area. Yes, Timber, you say? Oh, Pikachu! We met Timber on Seasong Beach, remember? No, you didn't. <laughs> Me and Pikachu and Piplup did, you ding dong. Uh, Seasong Beach. See how he's just gonna fast travel? So yeah, I hope everyone's day's been good. Um, mine. Been, aww, aww, aww. Look at him all curled up. Oh, he got a widow's sneeze. Oh, how precious. Oh, you know, when I first started up the game, the loading screen was all four of them sleeping together, and it was just the cutest. It was just the cutest. I said, I said, I said, I said, it was just the cutest. What? The bridge in the tech area is out? Understood. I'll gather the repair materials immediately. Well, I'd like to say that, but I can't do it by myself. It'd take too long. Awesome. At times like this, shouldn't you talk to the area keepers? I'm sure Samurai will know what to do. Okay, well now let's go and talk to Sam. Oh yeah, and you're following along. So I need to maintain my running distance so that he doesn't. And and that was the end of the sentence, so that he doesn't. But yeah, I remember this. Uh, we need to go to all three of the area keepers, which, you know, that actually will serve as a nice little reminder of where we've been so far. What? The bridge in the tech area? So you need specific materials to fix it, correct? We should cooperate with the Arbor area and the Crag area. I'll send messengers to Superior and Embor immediately. Excellent. The repair materials have arrived. We have timber from the arbor area and cement from the crag area. Now, timber, please take these materials to the tech area. You can't carry them alone, so have Ashwat and his pals help. You receive the timber. You receive the cement. Not entirely sure where we're carrying it, considering we very much do not have pockets and it's not in our hands, but whatevs. Thank you, Samurat. And you too, Pikachu and Ashwat. I'm going to go on ahead to the bridge. Oh yeah, there's a swirly vortex that's threatening to destroy the world. Uh, hmm. Have you noticed? The vortex has appeared in the sky slowly getting bigger. I don't know how much about legends, but if that is the dark vortex, then it must be related to what's happening in Wish Park. Please stop those schemers before everything is swallowed by the Vortex. I'm counting on you. Oh, maybe I don't want to stop them. Maybe I maybe I'll, I like giant swirly ominous Vortexes. You ever think about that? Yeah, but you didn't. Nobody ever thinks about what I want. No, no, it's always save the world this, save the world that. Well, maybe I want to see what happens if the world dies. You know? But no, no, you're just gonna, you're just gonna deny me this. Anyway, luckily, uh, the Vortex is not big enough to ward off Driftblim from carrying you wherever you need to go. Which is pretty good, because I distinctly remember that there is a point in this game where, uh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, he's taking us directly to the Vortex! Driftblim was in on it the whole time! But no, I, I remember that there is a specific point in this game where you can't fast travel with Driftblim, which is remarkably painful, because fast traveling with him it makes things so much faster.
Timber just came by. We have the materials we need. Now I can fix the iron bridge. <laughs> uh, okay, so I heard the hammer, but what was that other sound effect that push? <laughs> But yes, the train is, or the bridge is repaired, so now the train can get, can arrive in the, uh... <laughs> now the train can arrive in the tech area and drop off a handful of new Pokémon to befriend, which we shall be dealing with at a later time. Oh, you... Frickin' Abra! Frickin' Abra! I remember absolutely despising trying to befriend Abra, but... <sighs> we'll, make, we'll make it work, somehow. Thanks to you, the bridge is fixed! Befriended Conkelder! Still, it's impressive that you were able to gather all of this so quickly. It's because Samurott, Superior, and Embor helped us! Really? Being helped by those three is something. Next time you see them, Tell them I said thanks. Now then, about the Scientorium you're after, it's probably deep in the warehouse. Girder can tell you how to find the entrance. Okay, so where's where's Girder? It's probably where the Girders are. That'd be my guess. It looks like Conkeldo is grateful for your help. I'd like to say thanks too. Befriended Girder. Huh? You want to go to the warehouse? Can you see that? That's the entrance to the warehouse. You can get there if you climb over the tops of the trains. Be careful though, there's a Golurk who attacks everyone who passes. Okay, we have our target. So now... We need to get over there. In order to do that, I believe... We're going to need Pikachu's Thunderbolt. To supercharge these trains. Damn it! Man, wouldn't it be great to have Pokémon in real life for things like this? Because just imagine, that would be more or less infinite amounts of electricity. Of course, then, there's the whole matter of, like, ethics and junk. You know, like, how, how can we regulate the usage of Pokémon to power things without just turning it into a glorified form of animal abuse? Another vast white quill, though I guess uh, the whole Pokémon franchise in general could be argued with that. Oh, and there's Abra. Okay, well, you know, I guess I can at least... Can I show it off? I might be able to. I might. Maybe. Perhaps. Okay, now let's see. Golurk is... I think he's like a... I think he's a steel type, isn't he? Oh, boy. Okay, hide behind here. See, I believe he's like a... I, hmm. I believe it's like a fighting steel type, so Tepic might be the best to deal with him. Because, yes, uh, we, we, we battled the guy. Man, what a weird Pokemon. Intruder alert! Eliminate! Eliminate! Now, fight! Now, what is this thing? He's like an ancient golem of, or <laughs> golem, no, no, an ancient golem of some type, right? Yeah, yeah. Ow. You go over here. Yeah. Boom. Boom! 
Hmm, okay, it looks like I chose the correct typing. See, I know things about poke. Amon. P -p -p Pokemon. I I lost. You are the superior force. Befriended Golurk. We want to go inside the warehouse. I will comply. Oh yeah, this is fun. <laughs> yeah, you know, the fuck using the door. Just fuck unlocking it, why not just break it down with a train? Thanks, Golurk. You're strong, that's for sure. Okay, now, uh, first order of business. Pika P, you use Thunderbolt on this train. And now we can access this area directly without needing to platform over the trains every time. Can we? There we go. Go to the unaware house in the tech area. <laughs> so yeah, that, that that is the name of this place, the unaware house. Which I gotta say, top tier pun, like a solid uh, seven or eight right there. Welcome to the Yana Warehouse. What? Now I will read your minds. Ah, mm, you're looking for something, am I right? That's right! You're amazing! So, does that mean you know what we're looking for? Um, true love, maybe? We'll look for that somewhere else. We're looking for the Scientorium. We heard it's in this warehouse. Oh, really? Truth is, I can't read minds one little bit. I usually get on the first one right, so I thought I'd give it a try. The Scientorium is just through the passage on the second floor. Ooh, second floor passageways. Those always have cool stuff behind them. So let's see. Well, I guess we can do a little bit of exploriating. <laughs> Here we have the train that completely barreled through the area. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm making a deliberate point to uh, not bother uh, befriending anybody until after we've dealt with the story objectives. Which is probably not necessarily the correct thing to do. But, and then that's the end of the sentence. Uh, let's see. Ah, yes, yes. So we need to get to the second floor uh, thing. In order to do that, we need to hit the switches in order to rotate these platforms around. To create all manner of paths and pathways and path-adjacent uh, things. Uh... Um. <laughs> yeah, we 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 absolute. Oh oh my. Uh. Er. Er. Uh. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like we're we're going this way. Do 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 do. Just smile and nod. We didn't do nothing wrong. Just smile and nod, we didn't do nothing wrong. Do 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 da da Uh okay. Okay, third time's trying. Oh dear. Well I really hope those levers are supposed to break, cause I don't actually remember that. <laughs> hmm. Come to think of it, I might want might want to switch to Snive. Considering. 
Hmm, her wound feeds faster, and she's got a double jump, and I'm also going to get this. Uh, can I reach it? Damn it! I can j oh. I could just barely not reach it, because Snivy doesn't grab ledges for some stupid reason. Uh. Controlling character in three-dimensional space with D-pad. Oh boy, that is a bad combination of elements there. Oh, okay. Can we just hit right through here? Okay, I think we can. There we go. Okay, Tepig. Bash those blast doors. Boom! And then they fade out of existence, as though they were merely an illusion of the mind. Oh, and we have these three nutcases. Or... Seven, depending on how you count it. We I... Well, yeah, that was an odd series of events. Oh, they ran away. Hey, do you guys know what I'm looking for? How about... Boundless Courage? Psst. One chance left. What could it be? What could it be? I don't really care. We want to go to the Scientorium. Could you be a meanie? Hey, is that the correct answer? Correct! You're amazing! I did it! The Scientorium is under here. But without Clink and company, the elevator won't work. So that means the correct answer was... Clink! If you want to go to the Scientorium, you'll need those three. Go look for Clink, Clang, and Kling Clang, and bring them back here. They just ran away, but I think they're still in the warehouse. Okay, so yes, we need to find the, the sentient cog Pokemon that everybody hates on account of them being sentient cogs and nothing else, and bring them back here. So that we can make neat things happen to cool people. By which I mean, n n not me. I'm, I'm not cool people. Well, hello there, random berry. That, that, was, that was weird. And that way you may as well just put a treasure just... Oh, hello there, Clink. Go to the ocean. We have to be a gear, be a gear again. What only once more? If it's only once more, it's okay. Okay, well that was <laughs> that that was a sequence of events right there. Uh, is there anything over here? Ooh, treasure chest. Ten rotor motors. Okay, I imagine we might need that at some point. Ten compasses. Okay, I... Uh, are, are those critical items? I mean, I guess so. Can't really think of much of a reason why they create a uh, treasure chest with ten of them. Otherwise... Okay, well, we got Clink. Now we need the other two. So where are they? Are they anywhere around here? Oh, oh, I see one of them. I am unsure which one it is, though. I think, uh... Oh, no, there's Kling Clang. Kling Clang! You want to go underground to the Scientorium? What for? To rescue a friend. Oh, oh. I can't resist stories like this. I'll be happy to help. Okay, that's two. Now for the last one. 
I believe he would be somewhere on ground level. Though, so, uh... Okay, okay, I'm sure that this is gonna go well. Stupid game. Okay, Clang. Clang, Clang. Clang, Clang. You want to ride the elevator? Who are you that says this? Are you one of the gears moving the contraption called Poke Park? No, you are free, Pokemon. If that's so, I will help. See, honestly, I don't mind the, 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 like, Clink family, I think would be the proper word. Like, Clink Clang and Clink Clang. They're pretty adorable. You know, just like, cute little sentient cogs. I'm not entirely sure how their stats are. It's easy for me to imagine most people write them off simply because of, like, I, I don't know, I think I heard a lot of flack given to these three. Probably just because... I think it's mostly centered around them just being literal oh, gears and nothing else. Which, I mean, fair enough, I suppose. Okay, you Pokémon yearning to be free! Do these Pokémon a favor and open that elevator door one last time! <laughs> what the hell is going on in there? Okay, well, the resort was an open door, so I guess that works. Befriended Clink! Befriended Clang! Befriended Clink Clang! Now you can go to the Scientorium. Thanks, everyone. Well, but first we need to watch you go in there. Very, very slowly and meticulously. Go to the Scientorium in the tech area. Hmm. <laughs> See, I remember as a kid, I always really liked high-tech sci-fi areas. And I still kind of do now. Oh yeah, it's also got this freaking awesome uh, techno beats. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Greetings! It's so rare that we get guests down here. I'm Ryu Nicholas. My hobby is the weird and wonderful. Could the one who made the poster portal be you? Why, of course! The poster portal was one of my marvelous inventions! Do you know what Darkrai, Gothitel, and the others are doing? Wait a split second! Darkrai! I haven't seen him in considerable time! How is he doing? Indeed, is he well? It sure looks like Gothitelle has taken the shine to Wish Park. This isn't the time for chit-chat. Pokepark's Pokemon are being taken to Wish Park, and... The Dark Vortex has appeared! Pay attention, it's a big problem! The Dark Vortex? What do you mean? Give me the details. Haven't you noticed the big black swirl in the sky? When it gets big enough, it's going to swallow up the whole world! What are you saying? I almost missed it! I simply cannot miss a chance to study something so interesting! Interesting, he says. <laughs> dark vortex, darkness, absorbing everything, even light! Wait, could it be? Now tell me, are the wish bells ringing with regularity? 
The wish bells? Cofagrigus and the others kept them from ringing, but... Why do you ask? Wait, what? You have identified the culprit in the matter? The wish bells are regulate time. If time stops, the warp in space grows, raising gravity to new levels. It's just common sense. Common sense? Common sense? Oh, Darkrai, what are you thinking? We need to get to Wish Park so we can stop Darkrai. Right you are, common sense. Just use the portal right behind me. It's the prototype portal to Wish Park, but it's broken right now. I'll fix it, but could you go to the lab and bring me the Cytron Collider? What's a Cytron Collider? Why, thank you for asking. It will take me some time to explain, however, so by the time you understand, the Vortex is likely to have swallowed everything. Ah? No explanation you need after all? What a pity. It's such a delightful one. To reach the lab, exit this door and bear directly to the left. Okay, so we need Cydron Collider to allow Reuniquus to fix up Zip in order to uh, get to Wish Park. So yeah, I think what he was trying to imply there was like some sort of scientific explanation behind the, the Dark Vortex. Where like the wish bells regulate time, and if they stop ringing, then space gets thrown out of whack, which I... I think the main the main takeaway is that the black the Dark Vortex is actually a black hole. Which I remember being super interested in. Because, you know, black holes are neat. And uh, sci-fi generally tends to uh, utilize them in a, like, warp sense. You know, like a, a, a wormhole. Despite that technically being a completely different thing. Okay, use heat crash to smash that open. Okay, I guess we'll grab that. You never know when you'll need an extra second. Grab the random berry. Oh man, that is a very tempting little uh, double timer there. I'd say that was worth it. Basically maxed out the time again. Okay, now pick this up right here. Then we want to drop it on that. Which will open up that thing. And allow us... You got the Cytron Collider! Yeah, I like those little 2D sections. I kind of wish there were more of them. Okay, Reuniclus, here's your thingamajig. Reuniclus! Thank you for your efforts. Now the portal will open. I must tell you that it will be too hard for you to open it alone. This portal opens when everyone concentrates on their dreams. Any Pokemon can help, but little Pokemon tend to have big dreams. So it might be helpful to have many little Pokemon cooperating. Okay, well now we have our mission. Go out and make as many friends as possible to crack that door open. First, let's try these two. Hello, welcome to the Cyanorium. Play with me too, please. <laughs> I thought up an easy quiz. There are three questions in total. If you can answer all correctly, something good might happen. Okay, first question coming up. Snorlax was taking a nap under a big tree. There, Apom came and left one berry. Then Trubbish came and left two berries. Then Reuniclus left one stink berry. Then Duosion took two berries. Now, what was Snorlax doing under the big tree? Taking a nap. 
Ha ha, I can pay attention. Your memory is quite good. The second question. Munchlax had one berry, but he dropped it while taking a walk. Buneary felt sorry for Munchlax and gave two berries to him. Then, Watchog came by. He delivered the berry that Munchlax had dropped. Munchlax was very grateful. He decided to share the berries among the three of them as thanks. Now how many berries does Munchlax get to eat? Uh, so yeah, he has two berries, three. Uh, 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 half? Okay, it might have been one then. On the plus side, I think the questions actually remain the same. Never gonna be tree, a poem with one berry, Trubbish came with two, Reuniclus with one stink berry, Devotion took two berries, Snorlax was taking a nap. Mindslax had one berry, but he dropped it while taking a walk. When you're defense, sorry, gave two. Okay. I just wasn't paying attention. One. That is correct. Well done. There's only one question left. The third question. There was one berry on a box. Now, how many berries are there in the box? I don't know. If you never told me. That is correct. You have a good listening ear. Now here is a good thing. Ta-da! You can be my friend! Befriended Solosis! Okay, next Duosion. Thanks for earlier. Thanks to you, I was able to return to the underground. If you feel like it, will you help me with my research? I want a photo of Muna sleeping. Not easy to take a photo of Muna sleeping. Maybe if you start snoring next to her, she might fall asleep as well. Oh, yes, I remember this. Okay, so Muna can be found at the Colosseum in the Crag area after you have uh, dealt with the story elements there. Which, you know, is, is good because uh, you can't get to the tech area until after you've beaten the story beats of the Crag area, so... Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I don't think I've actually seen this loading screen before. Which is kind of impressive. <laughs> that there's that many loading screens and I can play the game for this many years and, and still not see them all. Oh, hey, and also, can we... Star Vortex around here? I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be visible from most of the locations in Poke Park. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, yes, yeah, still threatening to just completely tear the world asunder. Ah, here he is. Muna! Uh, I think Snivy will be able to get up to him easily. Uh, let's see. How do you get to them? Camera. Game. Thank you. Oh, what? Oh, oh! I had it! And then I ran right off the edge. Like a schmuck. Okay, okay. Mmm. Oh, how I hate controlling 3D games with a 2D... a... a... a D-pad. It is the worst. Ah, there we go. Okay, wasn't nearly that problematic. What a bright and cheery face. I can tell you've been sleeping well. I've been having so much trouble sleeping lately, but I have a plan. I just need some aroma candles. The scent is so soothing and it really helps me just get to sleep. Would you happen to have any? Please give me ten or so. Sure. Okay. Uh, no, not there. Uh, how many do we have? Seven. 
Okay, well that's close. Uh, that said, I th hmm. I'm... Okay, so what's... Well, yeah, the, the duo engine needs a picture of Muna sleeping. And I believe how that's supposed to work is that you fall asleep next to Muna by just leaving your character idle for long enough, and then uh, Muna starts sleeping, because she sees you sleeping. Um, that being said, I'm not sure whether or not we actually, like, if we can do that now, or if we need to give her those aroma candles so that she can fall asleep. Because she did say she's been having trouble falling asleep, and she thinks those aroma candles will help her. And I think they can be found around here? Maybe. I don't have all this committed to memory. I might need to double check. Yeah, if I could just, uh... No, those aren't aroma candles. It might not be necessarily worth wasting the time right now. Especially because, as far as I can tell, at least, uh, it would seem as though those little item boxes do not respawn until you have left the area and come back. Which is <laughs> mildly obnoxious, not gonna lie. But it is what it is. Uh, for now... I guess I'm going to just assume that it's not going to work until after we help Muna, which will require some more scented candles that we do not have. So let's just head back to the train depot and start making friends elsewhere. Uh, yeah, I remember there were a, sp a handful of uh, Pokemon that require uh, specific amounts of items, and a lot of them are not particularly fun to get. Because just repeatedly running to in and out of the area and just hoping you get it. It's not particularly fun. I love the colors of the sunset. They're so bright and exciting. A fine time for a chase, don't you think? Oh yeah. Are you ready? Two, one, Lego. Oh yeah! Ain't nobody gonna outrun Snive. Well done! You caught up with me! I wonder if you might be even faster than Blitzel. Run with me again sometime. Befriended Zeb Striker! Eevee has come to play. Okay, then there's a uh, mm, item thing. Oh, and I, uh, I remember you. That dude over there giving me out a metric butt ton of troubles. Elgor. What's your name? Axelgor, right? I've been curious about you. Would you like to play chase? Hehehe, <laughs> let's start. Yeah, this one is uh, ludicrously fast. Like, just look at that speed. Look at him absolutely destroying me. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, damn it. Could have cornered him. Come on. Oh. Oh, no. oh! I had him. Come on. Yeah. 
Hiya! Cut off his path. Whew. Hit. Very few Pokemon can offer me a decent challenge at Chase. That was lots of fun. Thanks. Befriended Exceldor. Okay, now, who next? Uh, there's Meowth. Oh, hello, Mawile. Thank you for earlier. You came from another area, right? I'm wondering if you have a cool jewel. Uh, not on our person, but, uh, we should be able to find one. No, that's a plush, which actually we'll need for something else. There are any. There we go. So, yeah, cool jewel can pop out of one of. Aha! Yeah, if you don't get a cool jewel out of one of these boxes, then you might need to uh, pay uh, Meowth to provide one. Yeah, you know, let's just transport this to Mawile. And I think. Is she. Oh, okay, there she is. I think this is all we really need. Oh my, that beautiful stone! Would you give it to me? It looks very chewy. Um, I mean shiny. Oh my, I'm so pleased! Thank you very much. Oh, could you possibly be the th Thermo Rowdies? Okay. I heard cool jewels were chewy and delicious, but... This one was a gift from the Thermo Rowdies. So I should probably cherish it and not eat it. Befriend in Mawile! Man, that went a lot faster than the last Mawile in the first game. Salamence has come to play. Okay, uh. Yeah, we got the Polka Doll over there. We need that Poke Doll for the purpose of befriendatizing Le Abla. The issue here. So, yeah, basically, what Abra is all about is that he'll keep uh, teleporting away from you if you get too close to him. So, you need to use this Poke Doll to make him think everything's okay and then befriend him when he isn't expecting it. The problem with this, though, is that we cannot jump with this thing. We can only move around. So we need to find... G get away. Get away, sir. Thank you. We need to find an location, or perhaps even a location, where in little sucker won't be an issue. Well, okay, now that uh, things are more or less uh, calmed down and we're just doing this befriending thing again, uh, let's see. Random conversation topics, random conversation topics, random conversation topics. Uh, well, okay, I've already talked about the whole Pokemon anime thing, and how Ash is being uh, removed for new main characters. And that's neat. It's cool that a character I've grown up with has uh, also kind of grown up too. It's neat. It's. It's very unbelievable they're actually doing it, but, you know, I really appreciate they're actually doing it. It makes me feel like they actually care about the anime as, like, its own thing and not just, you know, Pokemon the show. And, yeah, I b believe we're supposed to take the thing up here. Hmm. Maybe. Let's just, uh... Uh, leave it on the steps for now. Where it'll be nice and safe. Need three megaphones, fast white quill, and I mean, while I'm here, I'll talk to a Voltorb. Voltorb, I appreciate what you did to help with the Iron Bridge, but you're still outsiders. I know, I'll give you a quiz. That way I can tell if you're suspicious or not. This quiz has three questions. Okay. Uh oh. What happened if you're wrong? 
I'll leave it to your imagination. If you know about Voltorbs, you can probably guess what it is. What's the name of this area? The Tech Area. The next question. Who is Conkelder's apprentice in the Cove Area? Timber. This is the last question. If you can answer this one too, I'll admit you're not suspicious. Some of the trains in this area can be moved by electricity. How many? Well, I mean, it might be 17. There are a lot of trains around here, it seems, but we're gonna go with two. Alright, you know a lot about this area. I'll admit, you're not a suspicious outsider after all. Befriended Voltorb! Okay, now, we need to try and, uh, communicate with Abra, which will, uh, cause him to teleport away. Which will, in turn, cause him to teleport away. But, yeah, uh, let's see, so... Yeah, I talked about that. That's pretty neat. I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh... Then, uh... Uh... Hmm. How to get over there? Oh, well, I probably could have jumped over there if I was better at that. Okay, well, I guess I can talk about this. Um, I mentioned this a few times, but for uh, anyone who uh, didn't hear... Damn it. Uh, I've been working on uh, what I would like to be a uh, YouTube series, wherein I talk about all of the spirits in Smash Ultimate and discuss their various origins. Just because I really like Smash Ultimate and I really like the spirits, and I just think that'd be neat. And while there have been other attempts to do that same thing, uh, none of them are complete or conclusive, so, you know, I see an opening that I can potentially fill. Okay, 15 fluffy blankets. Neat. Ah, there's Abra. Okay, okay, so now we need to grab the doll and talk to him while holding it. Do 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 Hello, sir. Are you giving this to me? Thank you! This is pretty good! What? I can't believe you managed to talk to me! I hypnotized myself to teleport away whenever someone approached! You're amazing! Will you be my friend? Befriend an Abra! Okay, now those two I'm pretty sure have a battle. Uh, those little Golurk pre-evolutions. I'm just gonna talk to you, and I'll continue my discussion. Ah, Golet. Do you have a me melody box? I need it. Give it to me. Arigato. Thank you. Gracias. Melody box is fine, this one. Befriended Golet. I like the sound. Oh, well, that was nice. So yeah, uh, anyway, I was working on that uh, YouTube series about talking about all the spirits in Smash Ultimate, just because I like that topic and I want to try and- Oh, it's Battle. Uh... Oh, okay, no, it's, it's Chase. Uh... Yes? <laughs> okay. But yeah, anyway... Um... This past week... I was, uh, yeah, putting the finishing touches on, like, this big master list that lists off, uh... <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Get your thoughts in order, you stupid ding-dong. You friended Caesar. Uh, yeah, I was working on that, uh, Smash Ultimate Spirits YouTube series thing. I, uh, completed my work on taking all the spirits in this game, organizing them based on their uh, game of debut, and then putting all those games in chronological order. Just because I want to talk about... <laughs> oh man, this guy. Rug, Genrola? Rolla, Rolla! Uh-oh. Uh, is grass good against rock? Uh, oh my. Oh no, it is, it is, we're good. 
so yeah, anyway, I, I should really just focus on finishing my thoughts here. So yes, I was work. I'm I'm working on a YouTube series where I talk about all the spirits in Smash Ultimate and their origins, and I also decided to put in the extra bonus of talking about all the spirits chronologically instead of by franchise, just because I think that would add a little bit of extra zest to it. Well, okay, maybe maybe not quite that. I just <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just like the idea of doing that. So yeah, this past week, uh, I put the finishing touches on a big old round old master list containing all the spirits and all of their games of debut, all listed chronologically. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was pretty neat seeing all the data all laid out like that. It had some interesting little tidbits in there. Uh, for example, the, uh, year that had the most spirits debut was, um, 1996, which had a whopping, I think it was, like, 76 spirits debut. Which you might be wondering, how on earth could that many characters possibly have debuted in that one year? Well, it's quite easy. That was the year Pokemon Red and Green came out, and that one game alone was the debut appearance of 40 spirits. Not counting the fighter spirits, mind you, but yeah, in terms of like the spirits you get from the spirit board and like summons and enhancing and all that, there are 40 of them from that one game. So yeah, I just, I thought that was pretty neat. And, and for reference, most of the other games were the debut of, like, I don't know, 10 spirits normally? Maybe, like, maybe somewhere within the 10 to 20 range? So having one game where 40 spirits debuted in is kind of ridiculous. Now, are you a chase or a battle? Uh, I talked to you after being, uh, you can't show up after being Caesar, so I imagine you're chase. Actually... You know what? Let's, let's just talk to him. Let's just talk to him and decline. I don't like doing that, but we're gonna do it. Okay, so battles. Yeah, you're a steel type, so I'm gonna use fire. Yeah, and uh, conversely, the year that was the debut of the least amount of spirits was 1979, which was the debut of uh, Sheriff from the arcade game Sheriff. And he's the only spirit to have debuted in 79. He's not the oldest uh, character in Smash in general, though. That award goes to um, the Color TV Game 15 assist trophy, which debuted in 1977. Holy shit, I one-shotted him. <laughs> oh my god, that was beautiful! Did you see that? I used one attack and he died! Oh man, that was pathetic! Befriended the Scavalier! Oh man, that was, that was spectacular. Good work, Tepig. Good work. Berries, 500. Nice. Uh, okay, then Murkrow, I believe you're Chase. Yeah. Oh, wait, is this a battle? Ah, damn it, it's a battle. Okay, I would prefer playing this as Pikachu, but whatevs. So yeah, anyway, now that I have that uh, master list in place, I'm able to actually see uh, how many spirits debuted per year. And uh, yeah, I was thinking about making one video per year, so like a uh, video talking about every spirit that debuted in 1986, 1987, 1988, etc. But then there's also a handful of uh, areas where I absolutely am going to split them into two videos. For example, the aforementioned 1996. 
because there are 76 spirits total, including Pokemon Red and Green, which alone has 40 spirits. So yeah, basically I am absolutely going to do a video talking about just Red and Green spirits. Because I feel like I'm, I kind of have to, you know? There, there, there's no reason... To, well, okay, I guess there might be a reason, but just, just no, I'm not doing that much work for one video. For two videos collectively, sure. But not for one. Boss, this Pokemon is messing with us. Picking on my Murkrow? Who do you think you are? I'll just have to teach you who's the boss around here. Oh, God damn it! that's a double fight. Well, now I really wish I was Pikachu. Oh, okay, whatever. Make this work. Oh, boy! Oh, God, he's resistant. But yeah, the uh, first video I'm planning on the series is uh, talking about all of the spirits from 1979 to 1983. Because those years all have, uh, they were the debut of like single digit number of spirits. So like I think 1981 was the debut of nine spirits. 1982 I think only had like four. 83 had like five that debuted there. See, so yeah, it just makes a lot more sense to just lump them all together. And of course that brings us to the fun part of uh, making video game related YouTube videos actually rounding up the footage. Cause you know, it's just a matter of uh, playing video games to like get the exact things you need. And depending on the game you play, you only need, I don't, like for the purposes of these videos, I would only need like five minutes worth of footage for each spirit. Just because like, I, I, I'm not gonna go into like an exhaustive deep dive over each one in their games of debut. Although I probably should, actually, come to think of it. <laughs> or maybe I am, and I just grossly... <laughs> grossly miss... Mi I'm very bad at talking. That is the point I'm trying to get across here. Be nice to Murkrow. Befriended Honchkrow. Befriended Murkrow. But yeah, anyway, the, the main point I'm trying to get across here... <laughs> is that I'm currently working on uh, that video talking about all the spirits in Smash Ultimate that debuted from 1979 to 1983. Which, uh, shouldn't, well, shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, in terms of, like, uh, getting gameplay footage, I considered just kinda outsourcing the majority of it, by which I mean finding various long play channels, borrowing their footage, and slicing out the bits I... the bits I can use. Uh... Who's strong against you? I don't actually know, I'm gonna check the friends list. Because I'm weak like that. No? There. Okay, uh... <laughs> So, Pikachu, you're up, uh, buddy. So yeah, I do have a handful of uh, games that can be used for that video. I've already rounded up a handful of video clips from a few sources, including stuff like Pac-Man and Game & Watch Gallery 4, which I have on my Wii U. Uh, some of the games I don't have, I'm planning on uh, utilizing uh, the glories of, uh... Oh, well, you know, mildly illegitimate means, let's call it. To, um, procure them. Okay, not flinching. Ooh! Sorry, Murkrow! Yeah, I'm actually not 100% sure. Oh god, those Murkrow are just getting wrecked. Oh, oh boy. Oh man, uh, we may have started a big old frenzy here. Ow. Okay, you can't jump over that. It's good to know. You know what? Let's just keep doing this.
But yeah, earlier today I was working on um, getting some more uh, Game & Watch footage from Game & Watch Gallery 4 on my Wii U. The problem with that is that while it does have a handful of Game & Watch games I can use, like um, Octopus, Fire Attack, Chef, Fire, Parachute, Manhole, etc., the vast majority of them are locked until you collect a certain number of stars, or, yeah, yeah, until you get a certain number of stars by beating high scores in the game. Which is actually, uh, kind of, uh, exhaustive, I suppose. Uh, no, 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 sir, I would like to talk to you. Okay, now who's strong against you? Aha! Uh, let's do Ashi. So yeah, I could just like find like a long play of Game & Watch Gallery 4 or, or any of the Game & Watch Galleries really and just borrow that. But you know, I feel like that would be a little cheap, you know? Like, um, for, for reference, a handful of these games I'd be playing on emulator and by extension recording on emulator. And my computer doesn't exactly like it when I do that. <laughs> you, you know, play a game on emulator and try to record it at the same time. But, you know, at the same time, I want to put in the effort, you know? Like, I, I, I want to record the footage myself. Just because I feel like doing otherwise would be a little bit cheap, you know? I, I, I guess I just feel like it should be my respon- it should be a responsibility of me to not utilize footage from others until absolutely ne necessary. And yeah, there are a handful of moments where it will be absolutely necessary. Simply because, uh, there are some games that I literally cannot emulate, but also do not own. And I'm not exactly in a position to, uh, just hemorrhage thousands of dollars purchasing various modern $60 games. Well, honestly, I don't even know how much money it would really cost to be able to record everything, like, off of its original hardware and junk. Probably a lot, though. P probably much more than what I'm really capable of spending at this current moment in my life. I mean, if I had, like, six billion followers on Twitch and just became, like, a god of the world or something, then sure, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I, I can see that in that case, sure. But, but yeah, as it, as it stands right now, no. N no, no. So yeah, for stuff like, um, say, Astral Chain or Daemon X Machina, which I uh, don't own, but also can't emulate, for those ones I'll be borrow- I'll try and find some good quality footage from someone else and borrow it from them. Although, I suppose there is entirely the possibility they, uh, ask for financial, uh, compensation in exchange. Not entirely sure how common that is, but I shouldn't write it out as a possibility. And also, yeah, this is basically how I go about my life, just thinking things out loud. And just co constantly and repeatedly second-guessing myself. <laughs> just, just keep thinking of a situation over and over and over again until I'm able to pull out another bad scenario. And even if it gets resolved, I just keep turning it over in my head again and seeing if any other bad scenarios will, will, will happen. For what it's worth, though, I am enjoying the time I'm spending uh, making those videos. Because I do have them, well, mostly scripted. And, uh, I believe... Aha. Hey, Joltik. Hey, what's your problem? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my. Uh... Yeah, electricity is definitely strong against water. Hey, hey. <laughs> okay, sure, you get knocked back by that water gun. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, he's not- it doesn't seem like he's resisting it, so... You know, I'll take that. But yeah, for what it's worth, I am enjoying my time, uh, like, like, writing up the, uh, like, various origins and what I want to say about the spirits. 
and uh, rounding up the gameplay footage, and just, I've been putting a lot of thought into it. You know, just thinking about all the technical aspects, and I've been enjoying it. It's nice, you know? Hmm? Could you be the famous Thermal Rowdies? No wonder the battle was challenging. Battle me again! Befriend the Electivire! Okay, so now... Uh, you. you did. Hmm? What? What? Going home? But it's fun to cling to someone because I can see different things. But you came a long way, so probably I should go back and show my face. Oh, little Joltix. I'm back! Thank you, Oshawott! So, my many brothers have gone to other areas to play. I wanted to tell that to my brothers in this area, too. Befriended Joltik! If you do see Joltik in other areas, don't step on them and be nice, too. Galvantula, Galvantula has come to play. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say on that. Uh... She's been hard at work trying to get that series a reality. Uh. Okay, well now I can't look and see but who's strong against what. Okay, Galvin. Oh, really? Oh, right, because they're bug types. Okay, and only Pikachu is weak to Electivire. Okay. What the fuck? Why can't I switch Pokemon? Thank you. Jeez. Yeah, I'm uh, not entirely sure when I'll actually get that video out. Um, it, it, it kind of, it'll kind of vary depending on the actual games I need footage from, because some of them are relatively easy, like Super Mario Brothers getting footage for the spirits that debuted there. It'll just be as a... Ah, Oh boy! Oh man, that was a really intense beam right there. Yeah, stuff like Super Mario Brothers. Getting footage there should be easy, because I just need some decent quality footage of like a specific stage or a specific enemy or something. But then you got the longer, more story-driven titles. Stuff like Xenoblade or Twilight Princess that uh, are like really long and have a lot of characters that are introduced like very spread apart. Huh, who's strong against you? I should probably just not even really bother with this and just go right into it. But I am still legitimately curious. Oh, okay. Yeah, I am enjoying the work that I'm putting into it. And I'm really excited for how it's going to come out. And I hope that, uh... Well, I don't know if any of you people watching will watch it, but... I know, I hope that whoever does watch it, if anyone does, they enjoy it. Uh... Damn it. Damn it. Ow. Right in it. Yeah. You're really strong. It's nice to be strong. Be my friend. Be friend in Garbodor. Or Garbodor. Magmortar has come to play. Oh yeah, this is where all the big strong Pokemon are for some reason. Honestly, I don't know why they're all here and not the Crag area. Considering that's the place with like the actual like strong strongest man in the world competition. 
<laughs> it's annoying to go back without doing anything. Do you want a battle? Let our fiery battle begin. Ow. Okay, so yeah, he does move that flame from side to side, sort of. Okay. Close. Yeah. What? Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Also, I love how this game depicts the, the like, base level, the, like, like uh, first evolution starters as so powerful. Well, let's be real, you try fighting a Magmortar with an Oshawott, not a Samurott, an Oshawott, you, you're probably gonna get your shit wrecked on. Let's see, is Sneasel... Hmm, I know it's a Dark Ice type, so Tepic would probably be strongest, but is it Chase? Aha, uh -huh, battle. Okay, I believe she is a Dark Ice type, so Fire type should be good. Okay, fine, be like that. I'm just going to cook you over an open fire. Aha! Thanks for the help, Garbodor. Or Garbodor. I find his name kind of hard to pronounce sometimes. Impressive! That was exciting! Befriended Sneasel! Ugh, okay, uh... Oh, well, hey. Gengar's come to play. Gengar! Yeah, I believe you're a chase. Because, yeah, I believe Sneasel in the first game was a chase, and she was turned into a battle here. Gengar, I think, is the exact opposite. Gengar! I came here because I heard some rowdy Pokemon were running wild. You, play chase with me. Catch me. So doesn't Ash have a gang? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> I, I nearly hit him. He zoomed ahead, then ran right into me. Good job, Gengar! What a wonderful bait and switch that was. Anyway, yeah, I think Ash has a Gengar currently, and I think he, that Gengar has been through some serious shit. There's also a pretty neat callback, well, okay, might be a neat callback, to um, the first season of the anime, where I believe he had a, uh, a, a Haunter for a short time to deal with Sabrina. And he actually left said Haunter in her care. So yeah, smash that lid, and we end up here. And we can't switch Pokemon right now, which is unfortunate because we kind of need to cross that water. I've left the mansion where I used to live and have been traveling around. So was that mansion supposed to be a reference to the Haunted Zone from uh, the first Poke Park? Because there is one specific character who is absolutely from the first Poke Park game. So it is, it is confirmed these two games are connected in some way. Like if not by the story, then by like, they, they exist within the same world. The electric atmosphere in the back of the warehouse. Will you battle with me to end my boredom? Okie dokie. I don't think we have anyone who's particularly strong against his type. But I'm pretty sure he's a pure ghost type. Oh boy! Okay, don't do that. Yeah. Ah, damn it. Should've been faster with that. Oh yeah, that was pretty slick. 
or maybe it was just kind of ick. Yaska. Uh, uh, was that was that good? Good. Uh. I guess I should find another way to end my boredom. I appreciate your company. Yaska. Befriended Duskull. Noir. Dusk Noir has come to play. Now what's in this? Oh! Ten aroma candles! Yeah, I remembered while we were out in the tech area that one of those chests should provide a decent supply of aroma candles. Now we have enough to befriend Muna, which should mean we should be able to take a photo of her to provide the duosis. So yeah, okay, one thing at a time. First, we need to find Dusk Noir. He is up this way. Which is to say, he is up this way. Oh, okay, well, here's another thing I can talk about. Uh, uh, going back to that uh, list I made of every spirit in Smash Ultimate organized chronologically, um, according to that list, the uh, newest game represented by a spirit, or spirits, I guess, is Metroid Dread, which was released in October of 2021, and has um, the Emmy spirit, Samus, Metroid Dread, and, um, what's the other? Oh yeah, the Chozo Soldier. Hmm. No information on him, I guess not until we talk. Greetings. Dusk urged me to come here. This warehouse is indeed comforting. I feel familiar spirit signals. Might I interest you in a battle? Okay, I think he's also like... Yeah, pretty sure he is a raw ghost type. Maybe ghost in, sh in a psychic or ghost in dark? But regardless, I don't think I have anyone who's uh, particularly strong against him. Yep. Yeah! Uh, uh, yeah. But yeah, I just really like interest. Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm not sure if interesting is the correct word, but uh, just stats like that. Like, which characters debuted in what games, and uh, when were they created relative to one another? And of course, what were their roles in their original games? Because, you know, Smash Ultimate pulls out a lot of extremely, extremely niche characters from all sorts of Nintendo games that I'm 100% willing to bet that not a single person watching this has ever even heard of. Like, uh, for example, Mag Kid from Slide Adventure Mag Kid, Befriended Dustmoor. Um, Num Diddly from Make 10 A Journey of Numbers. Satoru Amatsubo from Project Hacker Kakusei. Noise from Kiki Trick, Ando Kenzaku from And Kenzaku. Just, yeah, I'm 100% willing to bet that you, no one listening to this right now, has ever even heard of any of those characters. And let's see, there's a big chunk right here in the middle that we're missing. Some over there too. One over here as well. Okay, well, uh. Yeah, you know what? Let's try finding Eevee, and we'll call it good there. We uh, didn't exactly listen to that advice to focus on small Pokémon. <laughs> I think the vast majority of the ones we do have are... Yeah, actually, I think the majority of Pokémon that are available in the tech area are pretty large. Like, either big or medium-sized, not small. Which is weird that they would give us that advice to find small Pokemon when there aren't any, but... Whatever. We'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it happen. We'll make it work. We'll make it happen. Okay, where's Eevee? Oh, Evie! Oh, Evelyn! Where are you, good sir? Or madam? Whichever you prefer, I shall call you. It's fine. I'm one of those. Which is uh, either good or bad or something, I, I, I don't know. Okay, focus, focus. Where, where's Eevee at? Uh, 
No, actually, does anyone know of anyone that calls Evie Evelyn? Like, even just, like, a nickname? Because kind of think of it, I feel like that should be a pretty obvious nickname to call them. Especially if it's, like, a female. Oh, sorry. Now, where is Eevee? I don't... Let's see, what Pokemon did I talk to in order to get her to show up? I think it was Mawile. Ah, there you are. Hmm, a race course. Okay, Snivy. Sounds like we need either speed or platforming. Hi, you traveled around various areas, right? Have you tried Flareon's race course? Well, even if you haven't, you should give mine a try. This is the start line, and the treasure chest over there is the goal. Okay, so we need to platform over to the treasure chest. Okay, easier said than done. <laughs> uh. Uh. Uh-oh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. No, it was not too easy. I very oh, I cut that one so close. Befriended Evelyn. Oh, oh, jeez. Whew, okay, 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 okay. Now, let's head over to Drift Blim, and I just remembered something that we need to do foist. So, first order of business. We're going to head to the Colosseum, so that we can give Muna all of those aroma candles, so that she can fall asleep. And when she does, we're going to take a photo of her, which is by which I, of course, mean we're going to take a photo of her and then show it to Duosian, which will hopefully make him friends with us. And with all that sorted away, we can finally crack open that portal, that uh, poster portal, although it's not really a poster, I, I suppose, but whatever. Uh, into getting to Wish Park. To partake in the final attractions. What a bright and cheery face. <sighs> also, here, here's something else that I can talk about. One last thing, or, well, actually. Well, okay, first, let's just see how this works. Oh my, what a lovely scent. It makes me so... <sighs> oh, man, that, that yawn was completely unprompted. Oh no, I almost fell asleep before thanking you. That would be rude. Befriended Muna. Okay, so yeah. Doesn't look... Yeah, she's definitely not asleep right now. So, what you need to do in order to make her fall asleep is remain idle. If you do this long enough, your character will eventually fall asleep. And when they do, Muna will fall asleep in turn. So you just need to wait until we're sleeping, and then we'll snap that photo. Okay, so yeah, let's see, um, conversation topics, conversation topics. <laughs> well, okay, here's what I was going to say. Uh, my, my legs are starting to hurt. Why would I say that when I'm sitting down recording a video game, you ask? Well, because I'm not sitting down recording a video game. I'm standing up. Because, um... Be be because my, my, my cat is uh, currently in my streaming chair again. It's, uh... 
It's happened a, happened a handful of times. And, like, I know I, I could very easily just, like, pick her up and put her somewhere else. But, but she, she's very comfortable. <laughs> you know, she's all, he all nice and curled up, has her hands, had her head tucked into her paws, all that nonsense. And like, I, I don't want to, I don't want to interrupt their uh, sleepy sleep. You know, that, that would be, that would be mildly unpleasant of me to do. Oh. Oh, we got a yawn. So I imagine we're close. Yeah, just, uh... Oh, my legs are actually really starting to hurt! Ugh! Ugh, freaking cats! Why did I think this was a good idea? Well, well, you know, because of, because of everything else. Uh. Mm. Oh, oh, oh! Okay. Okay, they're asleep. They are asleep. And... Just wanted to give it a minute to fully register that this was a sleeping thing. But okay, now that... Damn it. Now that we have that... Uh, also, uh, I'm currently quote-unquote sitting down, though it's at kind of a very bizarre angle due to my setup, and it's bound to strain my neck and cause all sorts of aches and pains when I'm trying to sleep. Uh, it's not a good solution, but it shall work for right now. Except it- oh, 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 damn it. <sighs> no. Go to this one. There. But yeah, just gonna sit here for just a brief second. Just so I wanted to get the feeling back in my legs. Ugh. No, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, Scientoria. Where is... there is... Did you take a photo of Muna sleeping? Hooray! Oh, well done. Mm, I see. Thanks. This will help my research. Befriended Duosion. It's like an ocean, but duo. You can go to Wish Park from a portal in the back of this room. So yeah, did Ryu Nicholas build all this then? And by extension, does that mean that's all these buildings and trains and junk were also built by Pokemon? Because I wouldn't imagine... Well, okay, that might be a bit of a racist thing to say, but I wouldn't imagine that Pokemon would be able to understand the intricacies of a fully functioning locomotive. The portal opens when everyone concentrates on their dreams. If you made friends with many tiny Pokemon, it will open more easily. Ready to give it a try? Well, we don't have a lot of tiny Pokemon per se, but we do have a lot of Pokemon in general. So that should balance out. Really, if, if you make a decent amount of friends, then it shouldn't be much of an issue. Okay, everybody together, let's uh, do this. Three, ooh, un. Charging. Oh man, I can't believe I haven't made a DBZ spirit bomb reference because that's literally what is happening at this current moment. Kamehameha! Except I don't think that's what spirit bombs sound like, or wh wh whatever. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, well, the prototype is still functional, so that's good. Alright, back to Wish Park. We've already dealt with three of the attractions there, so there's only one more to deal with. Hey Pikachu, remember what Kafa Grigas said? Wish Park has four zones and attractions. We finally reached Wish Park's final zone. We're close to settling this. Umbria. It seems that if you play the attraction too much, you won't be able to go back to the ground. Oh yeah, so there's just a bunch of Pokemon floating in the air. In a way that's... I don't know, it's a little bit cursed. May, may, maybe, I, I, don't, I don't know. Okay, now I believe Pikachu's actually strong against this dude, so... You do it, Peeky! Hey, hey, hey! Hard to believe Pokemon that opposed us have come this far. What were Kafagriga, Chandelure, and Gothitelle doing? Well, no matter. This flight zone is Wish Park's final defense. My attraction, Flight of Fancy, won't fall like the others. Yeah, okay, you keep telling yourself that, buddy. Flight of Fancy. Fly to the sky and collect a lot of gems along the way. When you want to fly to the side, tilt the Wii Remote to the left or right. Oh, it's one of those games. <laughs> oh, I griped about a bunch uh, the, 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 in Poke Park 1. I kind of hate games that have you move your up and down with tilting the Wiimote forwards and back. Press 2 while tilting to move faster. Blue rings give you a speed boost. You can earn more points for gems and gra you grab before the boost wears off. Pika pika pee. Two, then let's do this. Oh man, the music in this place is grooving, though. Ooh. Listen to them funky techno beats. <laughs> oh yeah, the Galactic Wailord. It's amusing to see random Pokemon just scattered about. Oh, and here's Super Mario Galaxy, which... Yeah, no, actually a lot of these planetoids look like stuff you'd see in Mario Galaxy. Which, um, when did this game come out relative? I think this game came out in 2010, so it was like three years after our Galaxy. Back past the Galactic Wailord again. <laughs> the, the Space Slowpoke. Spatial Seismitoad. <laughs> and a random Crustle. Man, what is with all these just completely random Pokemon? None of these have anything to do with flying or space. But yeah, there's, there, I don't think there's been a single flying type Pokemon, nor any Pokemon that's really associated with space. It's just like they took random Pokemon just out of random areas and just stuck them in here. Like, oh yeah, yeah, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And I mean, it is fine. <laughs> Like, that certainly isn't going to stop me from uh, complaining about it. Okay, well, not complaining. Also, that space station thing on the side there, like on the right, just as we cross the finish line, it looked like a vague approximation of the Comet Observatory. Like, extremely vague and extremely approximate, but, uh... uh yeah, well, regardless, that's all the attractions conquered, so that's good. 
But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, there's only four of them in this game, and after you beat each of them one time, there really isn't any reason to go back to them. So if you enjoy the tractions, then this might not be the poke part for you, unfortunately. Just because you beat the Flight of Fancy doesn't mean you've won. Ring that bell, or the Pokémon will be captives of the Flight Zone. The real battle starts now. Uh, uh, okay, we're just gonna awkwardly stand there and look at him. Now, let's see. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Pikachu was strong against him. Okay, Piki, let's do this. If you want to ring the wish bell, you must get past me. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember this area. So first, we need to reach Sigalif by climbing up this spiraling tower. The problem is that not only are there various Pokémon scared about to stop us, but there's also... uh... mid-bosses. Uh, there's two of them, I believe. Can you defeat me? Okay. Oh yeah, also I, uh, hmm. I don't think I ever noticed this before, but this uh, area is not timed. So you can take as long as you need in order to uh, deal with those bosses. Okay, next, Trudigan. Yeah! What? What? Yeah! Wow. Oh, okay. There we go. And... Nice job! So you have made it this far. There is no way around this. I am now your opponent. Beat Sigalith! So what's Sigalith's deal exactly? Like, not, not this character, but the Pokémon of Sigalith. Oh. Okay, knock him out of the air. Oh boy, oh boy! Okay, okay. Cause like, I imagine that this thing is meant to be based on, like, hieroglyphics. But I don't know, a lot of, uh, Gen 5 Pokémon just really stick out as kinda odd to me. I think it's mostly because, uh, I grew up with, uh, Gen 4 and 5 as... Uh, yeah, Gen 4 and 5 were the Pokémon generations that I grew up with, so I'm kind of attached to a lot of their Pokémon. But at the same time, whenever I see one of the Pokémon that were introduced in those Gens that never really gets talked about anymore... I don't know, it just... It, I guess it just has a weird disconnect or something. Maybe it's just me, though. Oh, how could this be? Me! Me! How could I have lost? Okay. Well, Sigalyph's out of the picture. 
Now we can finally ring that bell. It's gonna be a, it'll be a bell. Get it? Cause like a ball, bell, ball, bell. bell. <laughs> well, this is a funny animation. How do you think they even got themselves in that situation? Master, I'm sorry, Master. Also, apparently the Dark Vortex exists in Wish Park, too, which is interesting. Oh, how horrible. Wish Park, it's coming together. The entrance to Wish Palace is going to be opened. <laughs> So yep, now that we have rung all the bells... Wait for it, wait for it. Dramatic effect, dramatic effect! All four zones of Wish Park are now connected into one cohesive area. And the portal into Dark Rise Hideout, Wish Palace, is now opened. And another loading screen. Man, what, what could you even possibly be loading? Sickleff said the entrance of Wish Palace was opening. If it has, I wonder where the entrance is. Hey, look! There's something in the middle! Well, yeah, I'd assume that big beam of light right there is something important. The Shining Place is the entrance, isn't it? So yeah, first order of business. Oh. Okay, I guess it's gonna force me to go into that portal, isn't it? So, you finally come this far. The only thing waiting for you in Wish Palace is sadness. If that is okay with you, then proceed. If you fear any more, then we must take what you hold most dear. If possible, I don't want to do that. Think carefully. You should listen to Gothitelle's warning. Gothitelle can see a little into the future. But yeah, first... I think I just want to spend a quick moment just enjoying these other areas. Particularly their themes. Because uh, after we deal with the final boss and all the problems in this world are resolved, we can return to Wish Park and all the areas share the same unified theme. Which, you know, is fun. But uh, I think I honestly prefer these individual themes. Yeah, so uh, the big interesting part of uh, all the pieces of Wish Park coming together like this is we can actually access any of the poster portals that are available. Meaning that hypothetically we could enter in the Arbor area, move ourselves through Wish Park to uh, the Cake Zone, hop into the portal there to go to the Cove area, and uh, yeah, just use that as a sort of fast travel method. I don't know if it's any faster than, uh, like, just using Drift Blim to get from point A to point B. But it's still an interesting uh, little idea. I enjoy it. Boom, 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 boom. 
Oh, also, I hope you're prepared, because I believe this is the point where the game gets, um... Melodramatic, I think would be the best way to describe it. It's time for the showdown with Wish Park's boss. Let's save Piplup and solve this case. I'm a bit worried about what Gothitelle said and the others said, but... For now, let's move on. Yeah, let me just... Because, yeah, spoiler alert, we're gonna have a bunch of battles, and, uh... Yeah, no, I would imagine... Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone's particularly strong or weak, which, uh... Would make perfect sense. Because, I mean, this is the final battle, and they probably want you to use whoever you want against them. And hey, Piplup! Good to see ya, buddy! Pikachu, you came! I knew you would. Piplup, I'm so glad you're okay! Where's Darkrai? Are you alone? Hey, haven't you ever wanted to be with your best friend? And play forever without anyone bothering you? I finally realized, in Wish Park, that can happen. Pikachu, let's play in Wish Park. Just you and me forever and ever. N-O spells no. I didn't even ask you, Baldy. Piplup's being very weird. What happened to him? I'm sure the Wish Park troop crew is controlling him, just like with Zoroark. What? That's unforgivable! Pikachu has been my friend for a really, really long time. All I want to do is play here with Pikachu forever. Why don't you understand? Alright, battle time versus Piplump. That 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 that's what it would sound like if a Smash announcer was in this game. But they're not. And that's good. They probably have better things to do. Oh man, you know, I was going to mock Piplup's bubble attack, but then I got hit by it. So, you know, <laughs> probably a good thing. I... I... Okay, Generation 4 Pokemon in this game that is surrounded by, on all sides, by Generation 5 Pokemon. <laughs> Let's see uh, what sort of evil final boss trick you got up your non-existent sleeves. So, it's finally come to this, Thermo Rowdies. It must be due to the power of friendship. If that's the case... Uh. What? Did I come to this place to train or something? I'm Tepic. Hey, um, where am I? This place is sort of creepy. Do you know how to get back to the crag area? What's up, kid? I was in the arbor area. How did I get here, I wonder? What's wrong? You're looking at me funny. Is there something on my face? Who are you? Oh, you're called Pikachu? I'm Oshawott. Nice to meet you. If you know where I am, could you tell me? I just suddenly found myself in this place. What's wrong? If you have a case, I can help. Duh. I have taken your pal's memories of you. You will forever be in a world for one and one alone.
Chad's just gonna slowly hypnotize him. So yeah, here's probably the most <laughs> melodramatic moment in the entire game. Like, not, yeah, that, that's honestly the best way to describe it. I do remember this actually somewhat getting to me. Mm. Like as a kid. <laughs> God, that dramatic slow mo on the raindrops. <laughs> Oh, but he's so sad. Oh, but then Piplup is somehow here. See, so, yeah, admittedly, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. I would assume that Pikachu just got sent to, like, a parallel world that was completely alone. Or, like, where he was completely isolated. But then Piplup just shows up and snaps him out of it. And now we're back in the regular Poke Park. After I fought with you, I was embarrassed and sad. I wanted to go somewhere where I could be by myself. Then I heard a voice from above. Two big Pokemon carried me to where you were. One had white wings, and the other had black wings. Man, white and black. Those sound like really great names for a video game, you know? You should find Oshawott in the place where you first became friends. Hurry and find him! And don't worry, if your pals have forgotten you, I'm sure they'll remember. I need to get going. There's something else I have to do. I know we'll meet again if we keep each other in our hearts. Aw, how deliciously sappy. So yeah, now we're just in the cove area. And if we look towards the ski, I believe... Oh, maybe there's a building blocking it. Yeah, the cove area should have some better viewpoints. So yeah, basically we're now on our lonesome. So we need to find uh, Oshawa, Snivy, and Tepig. And convince them to rejoin our ragtag band of misfits. Then Oshawa's easy enough. Cause uh, you start off in Cove Town, which is directly connected to Seasong Beach. So you know, you can just go straight there. The other two though... <laughs> oh man, this, it, it's rather obnoxious. Hey, oh boy, just just you wait and see what this game will ask of us. Are you out? This feeling, it's so strange. I know there's a case to solve, but I'm not sure what I should do. I thought that if I came here, I'd remember, but... Challenge Oshawa to a bat? What? A battle? Sure, why not? My thoughts are just running in circles anyway. It might be good to unwind a bit and get some exercise. Alright, battle against Oshawott. Oh, 
Well, I can't say I appreciate that. Uh. Oh, and yeah, there's the Dark Vortex. Uh, doesn't seem like it's gotten any bigger, which is good. Oh, Pikachu! It's you! That's so strange. Why did I forget about you? Well, thanks to you, I remember what I'm supposed to be doing. We have to solve the case and protect Poke Park. That's what I have to do. Let's go to the Arbor area and look for Snivy. Maybe she's by the stump in Verdant Court. So yeah, you would think, oh well let's just talk to Driftblim and teleport over there. Hello. The sky looks very strange. We probably shouldn't fly right now. <sighs> yep. Cannot fly to the area. So we need to walk there on foot. And I want to see... Ah, shit! Ah, man, I was hoping to open up those portals and use that as my fast travel route. Because, like, I don't exactly know how much faster that would be. Especially because uh, after you open the portal... Uh, well, af after a certain point, you can just open the portal automatically without needing to utilize your friendship power to do it. But, uh, no, apparently that's not- this isn't the time for that right now. So, yeah, no- no wish park, unfortunately. So, we're just gonna need to do this the old-fashioned way. The- 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 the old-fashioned way. That, that, that's, that, that's what I was trying to, trying to communicate. <clears throat> uh, yes, well, anyway. Cove Town of the Cove area. One shade. Oh, yeah, well, uh, that doesn't really say. Oh, uh, this transport. Like, this is a neat idea. I enjoy it, uh, like, conceptually. But I just wish you could fast travel there with Driftblim. You know, it, it's, I, I, it is kind of neat that you get the chance to run back through all the areas you've visited so far. Just like a nice see where all the places you've been sort of thing. But it doesn't mean it's any less, uh, tiring. Okay, uh, let's see. What to talk about? What to talk about? What to talk about? Uh, I could talk about this. Or that. Or even the other thing, too. Get it? Get, get, get it? No, no. Uh, let's see. What can I talk about? Oh, I brought the video project series, uh, back during the tech area friendship making process. Uh, pretty sure there's nothing else to say on that front. Ooh, I'll take that. Thank you. Oh man, it's a shame we don't have Tepig here, or else we could break that rock. Alright, Snivy, what's up? I wonder why. Recently, things seem so bright and exciting, too. Now, no matter what I do, I'm so bored. Challenge Snivy to a game of chase? Chase? Alright, that could pass some time. Okay. Boom! 
know, I wonder how that attempt compares to uh, the first time we did this. I would imagine it was faster, because we should still have our upgrades for this, and Snivy doesn't. Pikachu? You came to get me? Thank you. Well, with everybody, somehow I feel so full of life and energy. Alright, that's two for two. Just one more. Let's go find Tepig. I'll bet he's by the cannon in the crag area. Okay, let's uh, go and cannon by the crag area. Ugh. Although the crag area is really far away, honestly. Now we have to go through here, then back through Windmill Way, and then into the little hub area in Cove Town. Then go into the crag area path. Right, come on, carry me, sir. Oh, jeez. Oh, Okay, us yes, over to Windmill Wa. Although, you know, all that having been said, though, uh, we should, th this should be the stream where we deal with the final boss of the game. Uh, it won't be the last stream. I do absolutely plan on 100%ing it. Because there's actually a fairly substantial amount of post-game content to do. Which, yeah, you wouldn't expect Poke Park of all things, to have a post-game. But no, there is actually a post-game story, and it's uh, pretty neat. Oh, yeah. Uh, if anybody wants to chime in with any uh, conversation starters or topics, then uh, please feel free. Uh... Okay, well, let's see. Let's just say the first thing that comes to mind and then discuss that. Um, okay, first thing that comes to mind, starting now. Oh, nothing came to mind. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm mildly worried of this. Oh my. Okay, well, the journey is nearly over. So yeah, we just need to find Tepig, and then... Uh, I remember that, uh, for some reason, I normally go all the way to the tech area's portal. But no, I think I think it would just be far wiser to just use the portal here, cause like we're already here. No reason to drag this out any further. I thought that if I trained and became really tough, nothing could scare me. But now many things are scary. Okay, let's challenge him to a bat. What? You want to battle with me? Maybe that will help me be less scared. All right, let's battle. Well, I think it's also fair to say that uh, I believe this is the last time you're able to battle these guys. Because, you know, after they become your pals, you can't just rematch them or anything. Which is kind of a shame, you know? I, I kind of don't get why you couldn't just, like, talk to them within, like, the hubs or something. Yeah, what? Yeah, oh boy. <laughs> oh man, that was a pretty good simul hit right there. <laughs> Pikachu, you came to find me. It's strange. When you're with me, I feel like I can take on anything, no matter how scary it is. Now that we're all back together, let's go to Wish Palace! Oh uh, hey, yeah, this is the closest portal. So, let's just, uh, head here. Boom! 
Okay, skip that. Oh, why am I so tired? It's 3.20 in the afternoon for me. We're only halfway through the day. I shouldn't be sleepy. It goes against my contract. As a human being. Who is... What's the term for uh, a being that um, sleeps at night and stays awake during the day? I think it's... It's not nocturnal, that that's the opposite. Yeah, yeah, the opposite of nocturnal, basically. Diurnal, I think it is. Which I don't even know what the hell that's supposed to mean. Oh, sorry, friend. Oh, hey, five aroma candles. Well, that wouldn't have been enough to uh, help out Muna. But uh, we already did all that, so... Yeah, we're just going to head straight for that portal. Huh? Okay, so yeah, after you defeat the final boss, then you can hop into these portals without needing to do this minigame. <gasps> oh, it's the loading screen! Oh, with all the babies sleeping so preciously together. Oh, oh! I said, oh, 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 I really should stop saying that because I keep doing it, <laughs> and I, I don't really feel sorry for it, not, not even remotely. Okay, okay, charge it up, charge all of your hopes and thoughts into this. One last spirit bomb. New record, 48,000. And uh, I guess we can watch this. Alright, back to Wish Park. Now, let's see, do we... I'm trying to remember how the final boss goes exactly. Oh yeah, can we see the, uh... Ah, there it is. Uh... Is it bigger? I don't think it's any bigger. But I do think this is the last time we'll be able to see it. For the end. Okay, Darkrai, that was a clever trick you pulled, but it ain't gonna work on us twice. I think. <laughs> I don't know, it might work. I never would have imagined you would break my spell. So your bonds of friendship are that strong. It seems my only remaining option is forcing you to yield. Dun dun dun. Oh boy, final boss time! And this one's an actual boss fight, unlike Mew. Come, let us battle. Beat Darkrai! Go! Uh. Oh, okay, I can't go into that area. Oh boy. Yeah. yeah! In retrospect, I probably should have upgraded myself, but, 
Oh, we aren't doing too badly. Shut up. I know exactly what you're going to say. And my response to what you're about to say is shut up. Oh boy, oh dear, oh boy, oh dear. Eh. Eh. Oh! He's hanging out with like a fingernails of health left. Nice job! It ain't over yet though. Time for phase two! Dark Cry again. Oh boy. Oh yeah. That we need to. Can I? I, I would imagine I can't dodge that. That looks way too big to jump over. But yeah, no, like I said, this battle is a lot more involved than Muse was in the first game. Probably because this dude is an actual... Oh, wait, actually. Ah, yes, I just need to attack the guy. Now, I was waiting for him to, like, knock one of his hands onto the battle or something. Or on the battlefield or something. So, no, just keep eating at him with your long-distance attacks. Because I'm pretty sure you can't hit him with anything else, can we? Oh, no, he's close enough! Oh, boy! Oh, dear! Okay. Oh boy. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah. What? Well. Yeah. Nice job. And that's. Well, okay, is that, is that the end of, uh, I think that's the end of the boss fight against Darkrai, but I don't think it's quite the end of the game. So we've got one more thing left to do. My ideal world, a place where all Pokemon gather, a world that is only fun forever. Why do you interfere? We're in trouble! Master, Wish Park is in trouble! What's wrong? What is happening? We should go outside too. Uh, it's not over yet. We still have one more problem to deal with. I do love this. I, I don't think I've ever brought it up, but I like this minor key rendition of uh, the loading screen jingle. For when things are getting very, very serious. For example, right now. <laughs> Be 
Pep Lab, reunique less. Oh man, the Dark Vortex has grown to full size. It's gonna suck in the entire universe. Hello there, everyone. I visit for the first time in a while and find things looking rather hopeless. Is everyone okay? The Dark Vortex is also starting to swallow up Poke Park. It is only a matter of time until both worlds are destroyed. No way! Isn't there anything we can do? Wahaha! With no world to study, I would be bored indeed. Never fear, I brought a fabulous item. My ultimate invention, the Light Polariton. This matter, it may be able to neutralize the Dark Vortex's gravity. Amazing! How do we use it? First, ring all four wish bells at the same time. When the Light Polariton resonates with the bells, someone must carry it into the center of the vortex. If we do this, time and space should return to normal and the Dark Vortex should disappear. Well, let's hurry! Wait, so what happens to the Pokémon who dives into the Dark Vortex? The probability of a safe return is a trillion to one. In other words, if you go in, you're very not likely coming out. Still, we have to do something. We have to protect Pokepark. Everyone, split up! Let's ring the wish bells! I'll ring the cake zone bell. I've got the dance zone bell. Leave the power zone bell to me! Pikachu, take care of the flight zone's bell. Time to show off your teamwork. Do your best, everyone! Okay then, let's go! Okay, so, first order of business. It's not possible for us to uh, leave and go back to Poke Park, is it? I would assume no. You can't go to the other side. That makes sense, but it would be kind of funny. I would like to see this Dark Vortex start to tear apart Poke Park. Anyway, just want to get one last nice little look at this joint. as the suction of the terrifying vortex begins to tear reality asunder. I always thought this was super cool as a kid, needing to circumvent what is effectively a black hole. It was a cool little sci-fi sort of trope thing that I just enjoyed. And I still enjoy, it's pretty neat. But anyway, yeah, head up to the bell. Okay everyone, match Pikachu's timing! Pikachu! Ring the wish bell for all you're worth! Ring a ding dong, bitches! Oh, and this is a pretty cool effect. Alright, Light Polariton is ready to neutralize the black hole. Huh? Where's Oshawott? Oh! Oh boy. Oh, Oshawott! Oshawott! Get out of there, man! <laughs> oh, I always like this sequence, though. This is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, there go the goths! <laughs> Oh, 
Ashwan, if you're gonna sacrifice yourself like that, at least carry the sphere into that thing. And the sacrifice was in vain. Because <laughs> of course it was. Yep. That was Poke Park 2 Wonders Beyond. And we get this nice little credit sequence showing all the Pokemon that we befriended. Including all the Pokemon we can befriend. Because you'll notice all those silhouettes right there. Those are all the Pokemon we could befriend, but we have not yet befriended. Including a few you may not even recognize because we haven't even seen them yet. Also, why is Lampent in this one? He's, he's from Wish Park, not from Poke Park. But yeah, um... Uh, I mean, I... Hmm. No, see, normally during credit crawls, I would take the time to discuss my feelings on the game and what I thought about it. So. Uh, that said, these are not the last... Th these aren't the, the like, la... Bleh. There's more to do after the credits roll. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, yeah, we say Wish Park, but there's still plenty more after this. As you can probably tell from all of these Pokémon, there's actually there's a lot of Pokémon here that we have not befriended yet. Oh, and that was actually Superior's Berry Party that we heard about. And you'll probably recognize a number of Pokemon here as being, uh, Wish Park, uh, inhabitants. Cause, yeah, after you beat the game, you are able to go back to Wish Park and befriend them. Oh, man! <laughs> oh, I forgot the end credits of this went to, like, a rock theme. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that's, uh... Uh, let's see. We've been going for, yeah, about 2 hours 40 minutes. Yeah, it'll be around 2 hours 40 minutes after uh, the credits are done rolling. So yeah, we are, we're, we're, we're not done with the stream just yet. L like I said before, there's a whole post-game thing. So, you know, obviously we need to get in on that. And then, uh... 
Now, I'm not sure how much of the post game we'll be able to complete in this stream, but we'll definitely try going for a decent amount of it. But yeah, so if next next time we stream this will probably be the last one, where we'll wrap up everything we have left to wrap up. Most of it being just going through and making sure we're friends with everyone. Although I, there is a couple of other things around in this game that I might be interested in. In doing, maybe. <laughs> oh, this pick's neat because it has a Zora and Zoroark and all the evolutions. Gee, I wonder who that could be. How remarkably mysterious. Would you like to save your game? Well, yeah, why wouldn't I? <laughs> oh yeah, and the rainbow's here. Was that rainbow always there? I don't think it was. The case is finally wrapped up. What should we do now? I'd like to go participate in the Crag Area's battle tournament. Now that everything's back to normal, it should start up again. I want to test my strength. I know I'm way stronger than I used to be. I want to see what's happening in Wish Park. It got all trashed when the Dark Vortex swallowed it. But I hear you can play the attractions again now. Let's go see how it looks. What will you do, Piplup? I was in Wish Park the whole time, so I want to explore Poke Park now. I'll be off now, but I'll probably come back to Cove Town sometimes. See ya! I'd also like to check out what happened to Wish Park, but... The Battle Tournament sounds really great too. I'd love to try that. We'll leave the decision up to you, Pikachu. Okay, well, the Poke Park pad says, The Dark Vortex vanished and the case has been closed. How is Wish Park now? So let's go check on Wish Park. Before we do that, though... Snivy, your services are no longer required. Except they, they absolutely totally are. We, we, we can't get here without without Snive. Anyway, so yeah, hop up here, go around here. And we'll find a treasure chest over here. Three gleaming coins. Three gleaming coins. And what's up? What, what, what the hell's up with this house? Why is it all broken open like this? Ah, here we go. What a mysterious floaty stripe. Hey there, you finally noticed me. Befriended Kecleon. I've been watching all of you since you stepped into the cove area. I've been gathering information about you. Like a stalker. Would you like to see it? So yeah, Kecleon basically fills the role that Abra did. Uh, here, you can see uh, various uh, stats. How many times you've switched characters, how many times you've rode Driftblim, how many of the vast white clothes you collected, uh, trades with Meowth, polar openings, uh, attempts on the attractions, items gathered, uh, your records for uh, the friendship power to open up the various portals. And you can see individual records, like uh, your attacks, uh, how many you've hit, how many they the, each Pokemon specifically has befriended. And then there's Kecleon's Awards, which is basically an in-game achievement system. Which, you know, I don't think I've ever actually com- well, well, hello. Well, okay, we got one. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually completed this list before. So yeah, let's see. Befriended all Pokemon, collected all 40 vast white quills, 
Uh, I bought all the upgrades, collected all the collection items, so I would assume that's just one of each. Ah, so that's going into the lighthouse. So yeah, that's going into the various 2D puzzles a second time, which you can do, actually, and if you do so, you'll find an even harder puzzle to, um, like, an even harder challenge. So yeah, just beat all those. Oh my f- <laughs> Okay, well, I think I know why I never bothered with this. <laughs> 50,000 berries. I would hope that's cumulative and not all at once, because if it is all at once, holy god. Took 100 photos. Okay, that shouldn't be too difficult. Scattered plants 100 times. What? <laughs> How do you even do that? Hit Pokemon with Dash 500 times. Destroyed 100 objects. Hit Pokemon with objects a hundred times. Scored a hundred goals, which I think involves you, like, taking the soccer ball in Cove Town and knocking it into the goal? Uh, okay, that's, that's neat. Ranked first in all attractions. Okay, we haven't gotten that one, so I would assume we need to play through them again, which... Okay, well, there you go. Won all battles, including battles in the battle tournament. So yeah, just beat the battle tournament. Defeated all Pokemon who played Chase, won all battles in the battle tournament, greeted a hundred times, and then friendship power exceeded 50,000 in each of the portals. Ugh, do I really want to bother with all this? Uh, err. I'll think about it, and then the ne next stream I'll, I'll, I'll say whether or not we're doing it. Just, ugh, some of those sound ludicrously grindy, though. And I have to imagine we don't even get anything out of it. Like, I'd be willing to try out the battle tournament, because I've never actually, uh... Like, I don't think- I, I think I've tried it, but I don't think I've ever actually beaten it. And, uh, let's see. How many berries do we have? Uh, 5,700, so that should be, um... Uh... Wait, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't help me here. I think that's 11 upgrades? Hmm. Uh, let's hold off until we get 6,000 berries so we can upgrade everybody all at once. I'm going to be upgrading all of our attacks to level 2. Go to Seasong Beach! I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I did mean to. I'm sorry. Ugh, yeah, I, I might look up like a strategy guide or something to just see how exactly you're supposed to get to all of those um, achievements. Because I am planning on getting all the friends. Like, at the very least, that's what I'm going to do. Then, probably also the battle tournament, maybe. Oh yeah, and uh, after you beat uh, the final boss and complete the story, you can just go to Wish Park straight away, or uh, challenge the record if you want. Uh, personally, I think I'm just going to use that until I uh, need, need to break those stupid records. <sighs> Ugh, stop being tired, stupid idiot. It's a bit scary, but wonderful. So yeah, now Wish Park is back, and uh, all the Pokemon are having fun. And the Wish Park residents are not trying to brainwash everybody. It's you! Why are you here? Don't get so defensive. We came to see what happened to Wish Park. Thanks to you, it's quiet here. Cofagrigus and everyone are hard at work. They're making it so everyone will come and play here again. Oh, we won't keep Pokemon from going back or anything. Don't worry. That's no problem then. 
to be honest, we thought you guys might be a little depressed. What's wrong? Gothitelle won't... She won't leave Wish Palace. I've never seen Gothitelle so sad before. Gothitelle's waiting for Master Darkrai to come back. I just know it. Darkrai hasn't come back from the Dark Vortex then? Okay. It's decided. Decided? What? We're going to look for Darkrai. What? Yeah, I agree. At the very end, Darkrai protected Polka Park. I'll come along. I was just thinking I'd like to keep on adventuring. Really? You're really going to look for Master Darkrai? But the Dark Vortex is gone. How will you look for him? Now that you mention it, what should we do? Seriously? Sit down without coming up with any kind of plan? Maybe the area keepers know something. I never heard of a Pokemon returning from the Dark Vortex. We should ask Superior, Samurott, or Embor if they've heard anything. Alright, well, let's go and ask those three. Or at least one of them. Oh uh, yeah, I guess I guess we'll go talk to Samurott, <laughs> considering we're already at the portal. But yeah, now you can just use these portals to cut across the areas, which uh, can be pretty useful. Just so long as uh, you need to get from one area to the other, and they both have the portals in them. Hmm, also... Yeah, uh, the map isn't showing any specific, like, arrows pointing anywhere. Despite the fact we do have the objective of going to talk to the area keepers. Oh hey, Waylord's here! Yeah, so uh, after you beat the main story, there will actually be a handful of Pokémon you can't befriend otherwise. So, you know... Darkrai's whereabouts? I see. As long as Darkrai is missing, this case cannot truly be closed. But if the Vortex swallow Darkrai, finding him will indeed be hard. I've heard there's a way to meet the legendary Reshiram and Zekrom. The way has been passed down in the Arbor area and the Crag area. Why don't you ask Superior and Embor? Okay, well first, I'm going to talk to Waylord. Because <laughs> I distinctly remember that, uh... Oh boy, two floods. Uh, because I distinctly remember that he was rather problematic. I've always wanted to try honey from one of Poke Park's honey jars. If you have some, would you share it with me? Oh ye, one honey jar. Thank you. Oh, I can't wait to try it. But these honey jars are really tiny, aren't they? Oh, that's wonderful. Hmm, so sweet. But my tongue is so big, and there's so little honey in each jar. I know, if I had 50 honey jars, I could really get a good taste. Would you collect them for me? So yeah, we need 50 honey jars, and we currently have... Two. <sighs> Luckily, I do distinctly remember that uh, there is an area that spits them out relatively commonly. I don't think it's particularly easy or anything, but... Hell, we, we'll do what we must. We'll do what we must. Me huh Me huh That, that is, that's the end of that sentence. So yeah, now let's talk to Superior. Yeah, it's because we need to talk to Resh and Zek and Resh and Zek. Re Re Reshiram and Zekrom. <laughs> you know, the thought occurred to me, it's very good that I'm streaming this. And you know, honestly, I'm just... Yeah, you know, I'm really excited uh, when I'm working on that video series of all the Spirit Origins in Smash Ultimates. 
Uh, I'm just really interested to see what I will have streamed by the point I reach certain games, and if I'm able to recycle any of it for this. Cause like, all of this stream footage with all these Gen 5 Pokémon, I could very easily use some of this for uh, when I talk about the Pokémon Black and White. The, the spirits that debuted from uh, Gen 5. You know, like Oshawott or Chandelure or Reshiram and Zekrom. Yeah, that's, that's neat. I, I just think that's fun. Thank to you all, the Dark Vortex has disappeared. The Arbor area bathes in warm sunlight once more. Everyone at the berry party was grateful for your work. And what do you need today? We're looking for Darkrai, who jumped into the Dark Vortex. Is that so? You want to help Darkrai, the one who caused all that trouble? I am impressed by the maturity the four of you show. Well... Finding a Pokémon swallowed up by the Dark Vortex is an impossible task. But if you wish, why don't you try asking Reshiram from the Legends? Queen Superior, do you know how we can meet Reshiram? Hmm, here's how the story goes. First, collect 20 of the Shining Feathers called Fast White Quills. Then, take them to the Arcane area and put them before the day. Dot, 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 dais? Dais. Da there. This is said to open the path to Reshiram's location. The arcane area is beyond the bridge, just past the stump, right? Correct. The bridge has been broken, but I asked Timber to fix it. Okay, so yeah, we, um... Uh... So yeah, uh, now we finally know what all the vast white quills we've been collecting are for. Collect 20 of them and we can talk to Reshiram. And uh, how many do we have? 17, so we need three more. Also while I'm here. Hmm. Just making a note of something. Okay, sweet leaves. Oh, my cat finally got out of my chair. Oh, I can finally sit on an actual sit spot. Isn't that just delightful? I fit in the bridge right now. Wait a little bit, okay? Okay. So yeah, we can't deal with that just yet, so I guess we'll go talk to Embor. Okay, can't jump off of there, that goes out of bounds. Okay, this way. Oh, hey, sure. That that's that's neat. Uh, let's go Rockbridge Fort. So, yeah, let's see what Embor has to say. Ah, uh, it's good to rest my legs. <laughs> also, you know the fact that I uh. Oh, hey, a new follower. A uh, cross banana. Is that is that how you pronounce that? C cross banana. You know what? I'm just gonna call you Josh. <laughs> I I hope that's okay. Oh uh, yeah. Th in all seriousness, thank you so much for following. That means that we have officially hit. Oh wait, actually, have we hit? Hmm. Last I checked, I was at 19 subscribers, so that should mean I'm at an even... Why can't I go down from here? Ugh. <sighs> Last time I checked, I was at 19 followers, so cross there should add up to an even 20. That being said, my stream manager on my phone is still saying 19. So I don't know if it didn't update to... Just try... Me. Mm. Okay, well, I'll need to double-check that uh, after I'm done streaming. 
But yeah, I think that means we've hit 20 followers. So we're officially, well, in terms of follower count, we're two-fifths of the way there to uh, affiliate, which is a big deal. So yeah, thanks a lot for that. Oh, it's you guys. Thanks to you, the crag area is exciting and lively today, too. Enbor, there's something we want to ask you. Ah, so it's finally time to tell you. The connection between courage and fake beards is this. You see, I used to be a big wimp, and... What? That's not it? What do you want to ask? We're searching for Darkrai. I see. So that's it, hmm? The Dark Vortex swallowed Darkrai, so finding him sounds difficult, but... Well, it's impossible. But do you want to give this a try? What is that? Some kind of... orb? This is the Deep Black Orb. It's been passed down in the crag area for generations. It's said that if you break the orb, you can retrieve what's inside. If you bring that item to the dais in Wish Park, you can meet Zekrom. Many powerful Pokémon have tried to break it, but no one has succeeded. Receive the Deep Black Orb! I tried to break it too, but I couldn't do it. Hmm, it's pretty clear you're the strongest one among us. If you can't do it, we can't either. <laughs> this orb is said to be made of the hardest substance in this world. If we told Reuniclus that, he'd be thrilled to research it. That's it! Let's ask Reuniclus! He might be able to think of a way to break it. So yes, we have a deep black orb, and inside of it is a key that will allow us to talk to Zekrom. However, we need to smash the thing, and we cannot do that in our current state. So let's go and talk to Reuniclus. You know, just uh, j just in case there's somebody watching that didn't pick up on the whole, on everything that's going on here. Alright, next stop, Scientorium. You know what would be hilarious if Driftblim started taking you to Wish Park areas after you beat the final boss too? Just cause like, how, how is he getting there, you know? Hello there, everyone. I figured out Wish Park and the mystery of the Dark Vortex. So now I'm looking for something new to research. Do you have anything interesting? We've got just the thing for you. This is the Deep Black Orb. It's supposed to be harder than anything else in the world. Do you know how to break this? Oh, let me see. Yes, why this does seem interesting indeed. I'll have a look. Thank you for waiting. My analysis is complete. Chances are I can make a machine to break this orb, but to operate it, I will need an incredible amount of energy. Energy equivalent to the energy in wind, thunder, and the land itself. Do you have any idea where we can get that energy? Even Pikachu's Thunderbolt isn't enough energy. Wind and thunder, huh? Now that you mention it, the Cove area has a legend of a Pokémon that causes powerful winds. Samurott might know more about this legend. Please, acquire that energy. Meanwhile, I will start working on the machine. So yes, now we need to find Pokémon who are the embodiment of the sheer raw power of wind, thunder, and the very land itself. And, uh, if you know your Gen 5 Pokémon, then you probably know exactly who we're, they're talking about. Oh no, I just remember as a kid finding all of this to be extremely fascinating. I don't know why, it probably really isn't all that interesting, all things considered. Oh, I'm sorry. 
But yeah, my stream manager still says 19 followers, even though I'm pretty sure we have 20. Which, uh... uh, uh, uh that, that, it's entirely possible somebody unfollowed. Which, y you know, fair enough. Fair enough, I'm not gonna get salty about that. So. What? A Pokemon that whips up the wind? That will be Tornadus. He is very wild. Legends say an ancient area keeper sealed his power in a shrine, but... You can chant a spell to call him. I think it goes like this. When the wind whips past with a wild whoosh, Tornadus is here. Thank you, sir. Uh, sorry, just checking the waters for uh, more treasure boxes things. Because I do believe we still need a rainbow pearl for our Carablast friend. However, the game apparently really doesn't want me to have one. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Right around... Ah, here it is. So yeah, we need to get to Tornadus' Shrine, which is right over this way. A path I'm pretty sure only Snivy can take, because she's the only one who can double jump. Oh, well, there's another vast white quill. Oh, okay, you, you actually... Well, okay, you, you can do this before the post-game, because, you know, you do get Oshawa, or you do get Tepig, and the Snivy before the post-game. Okay, that should be 19 Vast White Quills, so only one more, and we should be golden. Then, uh, let's switch to Snivy. Let's chant the spell! When the wind whips past with a wild whoosh, Tornadus is here! So, you're the ones who called. What in the world do you want? You cause amazing winds, right? We need your powers. Can you come with us to the Scientorium in the tech area? Hmm. I don't mind the compliment, but there's a better way to ask. How about it, Runt? Can you make your request in the right way? Please, Mr. Tornadus. Okay. Well then, let's have a little competition. No one has called me in a long time, and I've been bored. If you can catch me in chase, I'll be willing to help you. How about it? Let's move to a different spot so we can run even faster. So yeah, what are the uh, these guys based on? Because I know there's like some sort of Japanese god or something. And uh, that same Japanese god also form the uh, inspiration for Lakitu in his cloud. I don't quite know what its name is. Hey, that was a lot of fun. I'll help you out. Thank you, Mr. Tornadus. I don't really like working alone, though. Wait, I have an idea. If you need amazing power, my friend and I should work together. It's not as amazing as my wit. But Thunderous as lightning isn't bad. Go get Thunderous from the shrine at the Colosseum. There's a spell to call him too, of course. Here you go. With a lightning flash, with a rumble and a crash, Thunderous is here. Well, I'm off to that old Scientorium then. Befriended Tornadus! Okay, so now... 
We need to head to, uh, where is it? Oh yeah, the Colosseum. To go and befriend Thunderous. Oh hey, actually, we can do this. Yeah, both Seasong Beach and the Coliseum have the poster portals. So why don't we go and take them? There's literally no way that this process is faster than uh, just taking Drift Blim. But it's more visually interesting than just a simple loading screen. So... I said a so... And then a so... Okay, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, what the, which one is the, oh yeah, the power zone? Now, where's the exit? Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there's no way that, that that was more efficient than just taking Drift Blim. But again, more visually interesting. So, what are you gonna do, eh? Uh. <laughs> oh! Okay, I guess the game didn't expect us to enter the Colosseum from that side. Hey, I'm waiting for you guys! The battle tournament is starting up again. I want to battle with you, the ones who saved Poke Park. I lost to you before, but this time I'll win. I've been training since then, and in order to defeat you. I'm going to be the one who takes you down. Everyone quiet. I, Apom, shall be your announcer for this tournament. Embor, would you please give your opening address? Our address? With our work and courage, we have overcome recent events. And thus, I am very pleased to officially reopen this grand tournament. Everyone, fight fairly and to the best of your ability. Aim to be the champion. I wish you a good battle. Thank you, Embor. Okay, those who plan to join the tournament, please come talk to me. Join the battle tournament? Not right now. We welcome your participation anytime. So yeah, we can talk to Apom to partake in the battle tournament, which is basically just a series of, uh, you know, battles. I... I'm not 100% sure how it works exactly, but... I don't think I've ever actually beaten it, so... Probably gonna do it on stream at some point. You know, we've been going for about 3 hours, 13 minutes, so we'll go for another 45 minutes, which, uh... I'm not sure how much we'll be able to get done that time. But yeah, Mandibuzz's shrine is where, uh, Thunderous is. So let's go deal with this. Let me say the spell this time. If the wind blows... Huh? That's the spell for Tornadus. Well, it would have been, if you've gotten it right. Oh, oops, that was the wrong one. What was it now? With a lightning flash, with a rumble and a crash, Thunderous is here. <laughs> Who woke me from such a great nap? I'm so sorry. Tornadus told us you'd help us with your thunder power. What? That Tornadus just offered my help without even asking me? Well, if you're having trouble, I can help you out, sure. But I need to wake up a little first. How about a lively game of chase? If you beat me, I'll go wherever you need me to go. Let's move so we have more room to run. So, you know, I have to ask, why why are these legendary Pokemon here? Why do they care so much about these little mini-games? 
You would imagine that these guys being gods of their various realms and talents, they'd have a lot more important things to worry about. <laughs> Man, I wonder if I might be a little too overpowered. Okay, I'll help you as promised. Befriended Thunderous! Thank you, Thunderous. But if it's just Tornadus and me, we sometimes get carried away. And if we get to fighting, then there's nobody to stop us. That's bad news. Go to the shrine in the arcane area and awaken the power of the land. Go get Landorus. Here's the spell for calling him. When the ground sounds a rumbling roar, Th Landorus is here. Well then, I'll be in the Scientorium or whatever it was. The arcane area is just past Virgin Court in the Arbor area. The bridge is out, but let's go have a look. Okay, so yeah, at this point, we need to get to the arcane area if we want any forward progress here. So I would assume that Timber has uh, fixed things. And yeah, Vernon Court doesn't have a portal there, so let's just head straight there. Aww. My, my kitty walked up to the chair and is looking at me. <laughs> like she wants the chair and, and wants to sit in it. And it's like, uh, c c can't you just wait another hour? But not even that, less than 45 minutes. We're almost done. Just a little bit more. Oh, but isn't she just so cute? You know? <laughs> Oh, why do I have to be so weak and stoop and stoop and weak? Ugh. Wanna go into the arcane area? I just fixed up the bridge. Isn't it great when things like this are used for a long time? I'm gonna polish my skills and make a lot of stuff. See ya! Ugh, also I stood up. <laughs> Oh, I know I'm the worst. Like, the actual worst. Yes, yeah, so... First... We can tackle this twee. Burmy. Which will reveal a Burmy. Burmy. You notice my existence. You're something. Looking at your face closely, you have a very intriguing face. You remind me of a Pokemon I used to know. He had a lightning tail and a smiling face, and he was always pleasant. Okay, be my friend. Burmy! Burmy, Burmy! Befriended Burmy! I came from far away. That place is also called Poke Park, but it is very different from here. But this Poke Park is also very comfortable. I used to live in a treehouse. So yeah, if you couldn't tell, this is the same Burmy that showed up in Poke Park 1. Uh, he was the Burmy that lived in the treehouse and provided various uh, lore details about the surroundings. You know, like the Sky Pavilion and Mew and all that. So yeah, that's neat. Uh, kitty, why, 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 why'd you take my- Well, okay, I can't say she took the chair, I literally gave it to her on a silver platter. Anyway, here we have the arcane area. Which, wow. This place is just stuff too bursting with berries, apparently. Probably because we haven't been here. So you know they were given a chance to flourish. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of new Pokemon to befriend. 
but we'll worry about that uh, later. For now, Landorus's thingamajig is right over there. So let's get that first. Oh, and also, uh, two healthy greens, uh, important items. Yep, 20 vast white quills. So that will be enough for us to get into, um, uh, to get to uh, Reshiram's dais. Flash down. This is the shrine, right? I'll chant the spell. Oh, Landorus, hear my words. Appear before us now, the voice of the land. Knock it off, just say it right. Oh, I was just trying to build some atmosphere. Fine. When the ground sounds a rumbling roar, Landorus is here. You know, honestly, I think I like uh, Snivy's version more. Yes, you also show up in Smash Bros. as a spirit, though uh, that the spirit depicts your Therian form, not this. Also, I completely forgot to mention this. Didn't they introduce a new forces of nature in, like, Sword and Shield or Scarlet and Violet or something? Because I distinctly remember that Thunderous, Tornadus, and Landorus were a trio, but apparently there's a new member. Which, uh... Okay. Interesting. Who disturbs my peace and quiet? Who has summoned me? Hm. I see. Naturally. Sheesh, our bad. Mind your peace until I've spoken. What claim do you have on me? What? Thunderous said to come and get me? I have him to thank for a perpetual storm of trouble. Gah, on and on, round and round. Looks to me like my power is needed. You can't just rent my help, though. First, defeat me in battle. Then I'll help you out. Let's find a place where we can cut loose. Okay, while well, I'm playing as Oshwat, I can only assume this dude is a ground type. So, yeah, this should uh, work out pretty well. Uh, don't, not, not into the water. Yeah, what? Yeah! Okay. Oh man. Oh dear. All that moves pretty powerful, but it has some ludicrous mangling lag. And it's Funny. Uh oh. Uh. All right, let's try playing the long game, as in long distance. There we go. I wonder if it was possible to knock him into the water. Might have been. <laughs> I didn't think I'd lose. Still, a deal's a deal. I'll come along and help you guys out. Thank you, Landorus. Please, join the others at the Scientorium. The Scientorium, you say? Very well. I'll make my way there at once. <laughs> Befriended Landorus. Okay, we should head to the Scientorium, too. Well, before that, though... Now that we have 20 vast white quills, we can interact with Reshiram's dais here to speak to him. And to get there, we will need a Sniv. Ooh, hello, treasure chest. 1,000 berries! Hmm. 
Hmm. Uh. You know, actually. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go. Yeah, yeah, we should have enough berries to upgrade everybody. I'm gonna go back to Cove Town real quick. And give everybody some upgrades. Because, uh, mild spoilers, I guess, but. Good for honey jars. Um, we'll need to battle Reshiram and Zekrom in order to get them to help us. And, uh, as you can imagine from the, the uh, the cover legendaries, <laughs> they are really, really nasty to deal with. Hmm. Sorry, but uh, is the stream doing okay? It's, uh... Yeah, it doesn't... I don't think it cut out or anything. But uh, on my stream manager on my phone, the follower count went from 19 to just a dash. Which I would imagine was it trying to update itself. But then it just ended up back at 19, so... Well, well whatever. I'll, I'll worry about it later. So long as the stream's still functioning, I'm okay. Okay, let's do Thunderbolt 2. Thunderbolt 2, the sequel, the movie, the game. Okay, attacks is getting more powerful. Okay, so let's see, what to talk about whilst we's doing all of this nonsense. Um... The letter C. <laughs> the, 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 there's your commentary. Okay, Iron Tail's powered up. Next to Dash Combo. <laughs> Dash combo is now level two. Okay, next. Ashwats. Oh, well, you know, now that I... Mm. Well, okay, I guess I don't know if I have 20 for sure. I might, but I'm not certain at this point. But uh, I guess I can use this point to remind everyone. Uh, I'm planning on when I... Well, if... <laughs> I, I, I should be speaking hypothetically, because there's no guarantee this will happen, but if I hit Affiliate, then I'm going to, uh, as, as a reward, I guess, I will be doing a very special Let's Play, or, well, yeah, I guess Let's Play stream thing. Uh, 101% Donkey Kong 64. Which will be awful and horrible and tedious and atrocious. A.K.A. all of the things people want to watch streamers do. Yeah, if I, if I ever hit a affiliate, then I absolutely will do that. Like, 101% Donkey Kong 64 run through. Just because I really truly hate myself. Yeah, really the big problem is going to be just maintaining viewership. Like, getting followers is easy. Problem is actually getting people to bother clicking on my streams and notifications. You know, I was actually told uh, on Reddit 
that apparently there's uh, such a thing as like stream managers that you can like pay to help uh, give your stream more exposure and consistent viewership. Which, uh, you know, that's an interesting idea, and I appreciate the offer and all that. But I don't really know if I can if I can justify paying for that sort of thing right now. Now, I'm not, mm, yeah, I'm not really against the idea of paying for like a manager or something to help uh, expose my streams. But uh, I, I just don't think it's really in my budget right now, unfortunately. Please continue to win now, level two. Hey, now the dash combo. Okay, so that should be all for Snivy. Last but not least, Tepig. Flamethrower's power level is now level 2! <sighs> just, uh, still going through this. Just two more upgrades. And then I think upgrades after this point cost like a thousand berries. Which, uh, should mean that for all of them, all their level 3s... Uh, 3, 6, nine. Oh, yeah, oh, I think I need 12,000 berries in order to fully upgrade everybody. Which is kind of preposterous. You know, kind of. Okay, well, dash combo with level two. Okay, so Yes, everybody is level two on everything. Well, except for dash, but that only has two levels. And I want to say the second one's going to be 750 a pop. So I guess that's what I'd be targeting next. Okay, so wait, where is? Lakeshore, I think. Yep, Lakeshore in the Arcane area. Okay, now... Landibus. So let's see. Reshiram. Okay, so yeah, Reshiram I believe is a fire dragon type, which um, no one's strong against that, but Oshawott appears to. Oshawott's not weak to it, so. Uh, good on you, Ashi. You're gonna lead the charge. And uh, yeah, you also need to battle Zekrom as well, and I. Don't believe anyone's anyone's strong against him either. Go to see Reshiram. The vast white quill started glowing. Big! 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 Big!
So yeah, you are 40 vast white quills in total, and you only need 20 of them to get into here. So yeah, that's pretty, there's pretty good uh, brevity there. Unless you want to get all Kecleon's awards, of course. Oshawott, Snivy, Tepig, and Pikachu. Thanks to your determined effort, Pokepark has been saved. Thank you on behalf of all the Pokemon in Pokepark. Now, I well know the reason you have come here to see me. You would like to save Darkrai. He disrupted the order in this world. As a result, the Dark Vortex sucked them into the Dark World. It is now his destiny to keep wandering the Dark World alone. If it is your wish to save Darkrai, you must first prove your determination. Do you have the courage to battle against me? Uh, uh, mm, it is time to face this challenge. Let us begin. Beat Reshiram! Or Reshiram? I don't know. Take, pick whichever you want. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh dear! Okay, we're doing okay! Uh, maybe I should just stick to using Water Gun to slowly chisel his health away. Oh dear. Uh. Uh. Oh man, really potent ending line with that razor shell. Damn it. Try. <laughs> I mean, okay. I mean, technically, we didn't win. Landorus won, but. You passed my test and proved both your courage and determination. But to save Darkrai, you must also gain Zekrom's approval. Go now and fulfill Zekrom's test. <laughs> Befriended Reshiram. Man, we're friends with a god now. Yeah, that, that's literally what just happened there. <laughs> we became friends with a literal god. That's a pretty, pretty neat. I said a pretty, pretty neat. Oh, yeah, pretty, 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 pretty. But yeah, we might just be able to finish off the uh, post game story with like finding Darkrai and all this, this stream. Which is pretty, uh... Which is pretty... You know, it's, uh... It's, it's kind of, uh... Yeah, a little bit. Okay, let's go... Sciatorium. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, skip that nonsense. So, yeah, only thing we have left to do is to use uh, Thunderous, Tornadus, and Landorus to crack open that vast, that, that, the, the pitch black orb. And actually, come to think of it, yeah, the vast white quill, the deep black orb. I never really acknowledged that they were like parallel names to each other. That's, that's kind of neat. I'm looking forward to this more and more. I want to show what we can do soon. 
<laughs> Can't wait to get to work. Oh, brother. Well, I can't help it. I'll join in. Hey, let's crack this baby wide open. Hello there, everyone. I have no idea where you brought these three from, but it appears they have more than enough energy for this purpose. Now, let's use that power and activate this machine. And yes, that is a microwave oven you're looking at. Or, well, a microwave, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> okay, did it work? Nice job, team! Look! There's something inside! Is it some kind of spike? Maybe it's a fang! I think I need to study this object very carefully. Hey, thanks, Reuniclus, but we're in a bit of a hurry. I guess this much. Okay then, I'll return this to you. Receive the Bolt Spike! Hmm? Is there a dais in Wish Park? Maybe in Wish Palace? Haha! <laughs> That world still holds many secrets. Thank you for always bringing me such interesting news. One day, I plan to find something even more surprising than Wish Park and the Dark Vortex. <laughs> Befriended Reuniclus! Okay, well we got the Bolt Spike, and uh, the three, um... Yeah, like, the three forces of nature Pokémon went back to their, uh... Like, to the areas we found them in. You know, just in case we want to re-challenge them for whatever reason. Okay, but yeah, we got about 45 minutes left. That should be plenty of time for us to deal with the, uh, fight with the battle against Zekrom. Then after that, uh... Well, I guess we can start whittling away at some of the various uh, Pokemon to befriend. I'm worried about Gothitelle. I wonder where the Master is. Don't worry, we're almost there. <laughs> oh, poor Gothitel. <sighs> A dais? I think I remember something like that above the stairs. <sighs> Okay, one more vast white quill for the road. And here is the dais for Zekra. Now let's just take a look at this. Ooh, oh, that's not comforting. In fact, that's the exact opposite of comforting. That that's uncomforting. Okay, well Pikachu, I guess you can take us home. Oh boy. I mean, yeah, what other choice do we have, really? <laughs> Ugh, why am I so tired? It's literally- it's not even anywhere close to night. I am grateful for your arrival. You banished the Dark Vortex and saved Poke Park. Before all else, I thank you for that. What is to follow? I know you are looking for Darkrai. He failed to understand that his actions, his disruptions, his... Well, he tried to bring ruin onto this world. As a consequence, it is Darkrai's fate to remain trapped in the Dark Vortex. Still, if you insist on trying to save Darkrai, 
I am willing to let you try. First, I must test your determination. Do you have the strength and courage needed to battle against me? I mean, do I have an option? Good luck. May the better of us win. Oh, you know, I probably should have chosen Tepig, because he has the most health. Uh -oh. uh. Okay, so stay out of the way of that attack. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, could you do something more close range? Also, man, that is some sick guitar. Like again, the soundtrack for this game is unnecessarily epic, and I appreciate that. Uh. Oh boy! Okay, okay... Yoink. Uh, oh dear. Rain to his electricity. Oh, wait, wait, what? Okay. I guess I did enough damage to knock him down. Uh-oh! Uh. Okay, okay. Wait for an opening. Or... Eh, why not? Hey, Sneasel! Okay, uh, I, I don't know if I deserve that victory, to be quite frank, but, uh... Neat. You have shown us the power your courage and determination. We will bring Darkrai back from the Dark Vortex. We will return him to Wish Palace and all those waiting for him there. Befriended Zekrom! Oh, well, there they go. Wait, that's that that's just it? Oh, I completely forgot that they just cut straight back to the credits. Uh can, can I skip these? Well, okay, I suppose I can show this. Uh if you press one or two, you can turn the photos to a sepia tone. Which uh Yeah, that's, that's real neat, but we, we've already seen this. <laughs> we have seen this once before, and I was planning on befriending all of the Pokémon last, and then showcasing the credits one final time. Yeah, and no, I'll see, what I, was, I was under the assumption that you could skip these, and then I was going to befriend everybody, and then we'd see the uh, credits with everybody friends. Because it's actually technically impossible to uh, see this credit sequence with all the friends at right at this point. Because, so, like, yeah, yeah, at this point, there are four Pokémon that we are unable to make friends with. Those being Darkrai, Gothita, Gotharita, and Gothitelle. Those four, you only become friends with after Darkrai has been uh, saved from the Dark Vortex. And that only happens after you've beaten both Reshiram and Zekrom. By which I mean after those battles took place, and then you watch this credits crawl again. 
Uh, so yeah, I was I was assuming I could skip this and we could just move on to to the final credits. Just hmm. Uh. Okay, fine. We'll we'll sit through it a second time, I guess. Still not talking about my thoughts though, because I'm going to showcase this stuff off one more time after we've made friends with everybody. So you can all see the complete version of the credits. Ugh, okay, uh, let's see. Random talking points to get us through this. Um, what to talk about, what to talk about. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's try observations uh, about my, uh, room. Uh, there are walls and a window and most certainly upwards of 16 particles of air. Which is pretty good. Because, you know, if it was, if it was uh, less than that, uh, we'd probably have some problems. <sighs> Why do we have to watch this twice? We've already seen it! Like, no, seriously, I'm pressing all the buttons on the stupid Wiimote, and none of them are working. I literally cannot skip this. Uh, are we almost done? I, I think we're almost done. Ah, yes, we're in very special thanks, Game Freak. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Uh, no, no, not quite done. <sighs> uh, oh, okay, I guess I can give brief thoughts on Game & Watch Gallery 4, which I was playing earlier today. A pretty neat game. Uh, I think I did play the original Game & Watch Gallery on, like, an OG Game Boy, but, uh, I think I lost it somewhere, I'm not sure where. Oh, and okay, there, there's the end of the credits. So that was a good discussion about Game & Watch Gallery right there. Would you like to save? Yes. Master Darkrai! Master! Great! Reshiram and Zekrom were able to save you! Darkrai, being able to return to Wish Park like this. Pikachu, Snivy, Tepic, Oshawott. There's something I must say. Thank you. I can't apologize enough for trying to destroy your bonds of friendship. Forget about it. I mean, come on. We're still getting along great. We sure are. If you're gonna thank somebody, thank Gothita and Gotharita. They're who told us Gothitelle was waiting for you to come back. Yes, I see. Gothita, Gotharita, and you too, Gothitelle. Thank you. Also, I must apologize to you as well. I pursued my own ambitions blindly. I didn't consider how you felt. That's not it. Your wishes are our wishes. You should know that. After all this, you still say that. But, as Wishtar Park was being drawn into the Dark Vortex, I finally realized that I, too, had true friends. Master Darkrai. Hey, while we're at it, you should be friends with us, too. Friends? With you? Why not? Having many friends is a lot of fun. You'll forgive me? Yep. Forgiveness aside, until I went on an adventure with Pikachu, I never thought about how important friends are. Just like you, Darkrai. 
and then just a Pika, and that rounds the whole thing out. Pikachu, you have an unusual power indeed. The ability to bring many different Pokemon together. <laughs> Befriended Darkrai. Hooray! And that's the whole post-game finished. Um, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. Want to hear it? If you beat me in battle, I'll tell you. Do you want a battle? So yeah, while we're here, and uh, I, I think this will be the last thing we do on stream, let's befriend Gothita, Gotharita, and Gothitelle. And while we're doing that, I guess I can finish up that conversation I attempted very desperately to have. Uh, regarding Game & Watch Gallery 4. Uh, it's pretty fun! Uh, let's see. Oh, you know uh, what was probably the most stupidly easy game of the bunch? Is, uh, the, ga the game Boxing? Cause, like, it, it, it just has a very simple, uh... I don't know, it's just like, if you, if you, if you dodge in that game, and then, uh, punch just, just so long as you have a good rhythm about it, and, uh, just keep on, uh, uh, like, being really aggressive. Okay, I'll tell you. I've been watching you, and I noticed this. I, um, oh, this is so hard to say, but I just have to say it. I can always see, behind you, someone with a blue and white face. Yeesh, I finally said it. Oh, but probably I'm the only one who can see it, so don't worry. Befriended Gothita! So, was that a reference to Oshawan, or is it something else I'm not getting? I wanted to battle with you. But yeah, I've been playing Game & Launch Gallery 4 for the purpose of uh, getting that footage. Uh, as far as the games can... Er, yeah, yeah, some... Yeah, just footage of a few Game & Watch titles for use in uh, that video series I keep going on about. Oh man, do those rings ricochet off the walls? Oh, I think they do. It's kind of insane. Yeah, and it has a handful of uh, games I could really need footage of, like uh, Parachute and Chef and uh, Octopus. Uh, but the vast majority of them are, uh, unlocked by collecting stars, by hitting certain point thresholds, like 200, 400, 600. And, uh, I'm sure I can do it, but it ain't gonna be easy. You're sure strong. That's why you were able to beat the Master. By the way, one of the Thermo Rowdies is a girl, right? I know others sometimes assume you're all boys. A lot of folks think I'm a girl. So I know what that's like. Befriended Gotharita! And yep, Gotharita is a male, not a female. So that's... that. <laughs> you know, good on her for being proud of who she is. Okay, now Gothitelle. See, I suppose, hypothetically... You know, see, th this is an instance where, like, yeah, I could just go on to, like, World of Long Plays or something, and just find some good quality footage of whatever games I need or whatever. But, like, I have the game, and I have the equipment to record the game, and, like, I don't want to just not put the effort into that, even if I'm going to put the effort into everything else. I don't know, it just feels a little cheap to me. See, I want to at least try wherever I am capable of trying. Uh-oh. Frozen. Frozen. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! And, uh, yeah, I think that's uh, where we're gonna call it. I can see your future as you strive towards your dreams. You will have important friends cheering for you. What a lovely future. Befriended Gothitelle. The feeling you taught me is still in my heart. I would like to battle you. Not out of spite, but with this warm feeling in my heart. Uh, not right now, pal. Is that so? Maybe another time, Dark. 
Come to think of it, I don't know if you even get anything extra. You might, uh, I, I don't know, maybe we'll make that the very last thing we do, perhaps. But yeah, uh, with all that, th oh, you know what, I'm gonna end it in the throne room, yeah, with all the others. But yeah, with that said, uh, we did a lot this stream. We uh, beat the main story, and then we beat all the major post-game plot lines. So now, oh, it just says Darkrai returned to Wish Palace. So yeah, that, that's the end of the game's story, but we're not done yet. Cause I'm going for it, man. I'm going for all friends percent in a Poke Park 2. Still not sure about Kecleon's awards, but uh, yeah, okay, so here's what we got left for Poke Park 2. We're gonna make all the friends in all the areas. Then we're going to partake in the battle tournament, try and win that, and then, um, yeah, yeah, uh, after that it would just be Kecleon's awards, which, eh, still on the fence about that, but we'll see. Okay, well, that, that, that's what I'll answer with, we'll see. So, yeah, uh, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching, uh, thank you for sticking around, for following, if you choose to do so, for, uh, coming in and, and just, yeah, yeah, just hanging out and chilling. Yeah, I, I hope that you all enjoyed. And uh, tune in, well, let's see, next Saturday, we will continue Poke Park 2, make all the friends. Or, alternatively, you can turn in tomorrow on Sunday, where we will begin playing through the classic, ever-beloved Wii title that no one remembers, Zack and Wiki and the, the Quest for Barbados' Treasure. I think that's what it's called. I don't know, maybe, maybe just Zack and Wiki. I bought that game for $4 on the Wii U eShop, and I'm very interested to see how it shakes out. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys then, or whenever. Have a good night.